and you conceded. And so now when you say that you never conceded, you're lying because at the end of the conversation you said that i want i meant characteristics that would have been great if you said it when well, i said sure. we it we haven't but you gotten didn't. there yet no we haven't gotten to that part no, of the video I'm, yet are you talking we haven't about? gotten to the part of the video yet we are talking about right now something very I different than the, that i will rewind it 10 seconds and you will hear rewind when the last five minutes because i don't play this game no, can't, I'm not rewinding cannot, five minutes. We're talking about the last 10 seconds right now. Stop changing the subject. You are confused, so, okay? Okay, okay. So, now you're just clout Torsha, sharking no, me. You I are don't confused. Play oh, Torsha, you're dumb. I am not you're clout dumb. sharking. Will, you. Hold on. Can, My stream is turned off right now. Okay, so. Yeah, we. Okay, so Red Pill, like, what is there to debate about? Like, what things have you wanted to debate with Red Pill people on? Well, so I was going to bring up the, the thing that we talked about talking about. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, it's not do a you debate. Want, I, it's, well, huh? I, okay. <laughs> it's just, just clarification. I want to be fucking clear. <laughs> you just told me. You said, okay, said fine. I would do a debate. If you want to debate, this isn't... then let's debate. But, but but there's nothing to debate on this topic there is what I'm saying. There is, though. That's no, the issue. No, is there's, okay, okay. Just let me explain my position and then, and I then you can tell position. me. know your position. I watched your video. Okay. So it doesn't make sense to say he's giving all of these steps to get to this position, but he doesn't know what this position is. So if I say, okay, this is how you become a woman. And I say, you do this step and this step and this step and this step. And then they say, okay, but what is a woman? And I say, oh, it's whatever you want it to be. Well, no, it's I not know, whatever I you know. want it to be because you know. need these steps to get there. So it's obviously something very specific. So you're focused way too much on like the actual list. Okay. Way, and like everybody, that's what I've noticed from some of the videos I watched. Um, have you ever read Rolo's material or no? If you didn't, I can give like a TLDR. Version. Okay. It's kind of, I guess, kind of important to know. Uh, Rolo I didn't know who he was until you told me about him so oh really okay um so Rolo is people call him like the the godfather in the space but the really, grand wizard oh yeah yeah I heard that. <laughs> um I, the, there's like certain people in the space um that's kind of important to know because they like they're not pioneers but a lot of them consolidated a lot of uh different material and uh interpreted it a different way or so, some would some of them would just interpret it like like a crazy person then some people would interpret it more of a um what's it called when you can have multiple uh viewpoints? subjective not subjective something with the like a not critics it's a you can see both sides there's a specific term for it i can't think of. is contrarian no what does that mean um anyways there's like some people that will they'll just be essayists have like a blog or something that's where red pill kind of originated so there's certain people rollo's one of them who were talking about these ideas you know like puas and stuff right mm -hmm. Okay, like it started PUA, then turned into red pill and like broke off and all this crazy shit. Pretty much it's like really only supposed to be about intersexual dynamics. If you ever hear anybody talking about politics, talking about um, the only time politics is okay is if it's like feminine. Like really you shouldn't. Like politics. You talk about politics. I, I like to because I like to. Uh, well, not really actually. I talk about feminism and the history. I like well, that sure, stuff. but you also talk about like men's issues with courts and uh, sometimes, and, yeah, and stuff like that. Like I wouldn't everybody, say that's it seems politics, to have though. a large crossover. Yeah, and that like the reason for that is um, when you understand, like, take red pill away for a second. When you understand intersexual dynamics, human behavior, just how people interact with each other, like you're really good with it. Maybe you're a people person. You start to see that branch in other areas because you have relationships with your boss with your friends with your mom like uh with your co-workers so i it's the same idea how politics can kind of get intertwined the problem is though um 
has to be apolitical. And I think this is where we're going to get into dog whistles and how you don't know a lot of the lexicon. Um, you might be taking things very literally, I would presume. I have yeah. to think about it. Um, and the thing about red pill is everything that you see, it's, uh, it, it has objective truths. That's why a lot of people can't say red pills wrong, right? Like we've heard that on all sides. Like they're not really wrong. There's just something about it that's like. Well, okay. normally I say I don't think that like the descriptive claims that they're making are yeah. wrong. It's the advice that comes with it that I think is wrong. So there is no advice. So anything, anytime you see advice, it's grifting. And like, I don't, do you guys use the term grifter? I only heard it in the red pill space. So I don't know if this is like a comment. Yeah, we know what grifter is. Yeah. It's like snake oils. It's mm -hmm. really bad though in this space because a lot of people can prey it on is. insecurities like really easily. That's why you cannot, that's why I don't sell anything on my channel. Um, and like people are like, you should do coaching. I'm like, no, <laughs> like I don't talk to me like uh, I, we have a discord we used it for a bit i never is it necessarily <laughs> grifting though like can't it be somebody who believes in the red pill and just wants to give advice with it so you can it's not a cult but the problem is there are no solutions when you're talking about red pill and it's a concept that's like really hard for people uh, even myself like when i was first learning about it, it was really hard to not attach some sort of like so what's the solution like how do right. we fix it like um, a prescription yeah prescription because you were saying it was a lot descriptive and then you'd see prescription or whatever uh, anytime you see any prescription they're probably not really that red pill and that's why i really respect rollo because he's been like Clear from the get-go, so here we are, clear from the get-go that he was no prescriptions. He he has tools. You can do what you want with them. That tweet, though, is not a prescription, but like, so. I agree. I agree with that. It's not yeah. a prescription, and it's not hey, advice. It sounds so, yeah. Yeah, it and it's not like advice, it. but when he says the fastest way to become this, he is, obviously, this is a very specific thing should have stopped at high value and known that it was subjective is my point like anybody that we know it's subjective them, but that doesn't matter we all know it's like subjective it's like a, no we i'm all saying understand it's subjective the problem yeah. is that he has an idea of what it means and that's what they're asking for is what is his meaning of it in he, his that... personal of meaning for it and like even they were saying well what about ben shapiro and he said i don't think ben shapiro is high value in the way that i look at it right and but people he wouldn't were like tell... what that's what that was the big problem is they're asking him but what is a high value man and he keeps saying it's whatever you want it to be and they're like no no we know it's whatever we want it to be but we're asking what do you think it is and he's like but, yeah it's anything problem, whatever you want so the problem when people so a lot of times we'll step back hold on to it i'm gonna i'm gonna try to bring it around a lot of you. times um in these debates i i can think of one in particular with hafiz and pearl so hafiz is like blue pill let's say i hate using that and she's red pill and okay. it's always um he was saying something like uh you know you give all this advice but you're single you're a working woman you're not married all this stuff and it's it's attaching that like a character thing to it so that you can attack it later so when you look back at what destiny and sneeko were doing they were constantly asking what's your position if i was really i probably would have answered it because the way that they're saying it like you have to constantly be on your feet to be like is this going to fall into a moral uh, character like mm -hmm. assassination because that pisses people off yeah. but like it upsets people like people don't want to get involved because there's anything that you do from then on you're rage quitting that's like what the other side says if you try to exit it you're rage quitting you're emotional even though they're the same side that likes to say that men should be more emotional but as soon as they show it they make fun of it um and it's just it's like a I think that's what was going on and why he hesitated. But it seemed like he was saying earlier, and maybe I'm wrong, I could be wrong, but it seemed like Myron had, Myron was on point with it, but he seemed um, like unsure of himself because it's subjective again. And it, it, Evan Samuels made it objective, we'll get there. But mm -hmm. so when he explained it, 
uh, Rolla was agreeing with him. So I thought that that was kind of clear. Um, he said, you're right, you're right to Myron. And while uh, Destiny interjected, or it might have been Sneeko, I don't remember saying something. And I don't know if it was like caught. It could have been after, but it, I, shut up. One more thing. Okay, so Kevin Samuels, everybody thinks he's red pill, right? He's, I think we call him black red pill. Then people would say he's like the black, uh, he's in the black manosphere, but he's red or pill. black manosphere. That's what it is. Right. Yeah. Oh, black manosphere. Rest in peace. But the problem is like a lot of people found the red pill and because there are no solutions, they wanted to profit off of it. Evan Samuels wanting to promote marriage in old order style ways of thinking automatically tells me they're not red pill. Red pill isn't saying you shouldn't get married. Red pill is saying do what you want, here are risks, whatever. But marriage today is not good for anybody. Like we need to come up with something knowing what our rates are and how we can move forward in the future. So it's more so some people will say it's a nihilistic view of looking at it but really because they're like enjoy the decline because there's nothing you can do mm -hmm. me i'm like uh, guys we can't go backwards let's let's move forward if you guys come up with anything let me know but again like we don't have answers to uh, did i go on a tangent did i make sense yes you do make sense but it I, I'm going to keep going back to the same Ed. thing. So their, so their issue is that, like, he's saying um, there is, like, them? no, I watched what it was that they were yeah. saying on there, and it seemed like Rolo just refused to answer any of their questions. Pull it up again. Can you pull it up? Yeah, we can. You want to, like, do that? watch Let's it on here? That. Yeah, sure. I know I, I when I mentioned that to Pearl, even Pearl was like, whoa, I didn't even think of that. It, like, now I see it in such a different light as she was continuing live. With it. And it's that's why I have that video as my trailer, because I think it hopefully it'll help people really understand why we're talking over each other. You can play that one if you want. It's fun. Um, Love it. Let's see. I don't know if you guys have watched it. Um, it breaks um, down like why red pill and blue pill whatever you want to call it have like a hard time debating or why it gets stuck on certain topics give me a second to pull this up is your name t period uh zero o period m it's zero or i mean yeah it's o it's uh, my name on Twitch now because I am mm -hmm. still streaming on Twitch just with a new account. Um, it is Terminally it's Online not... Media. And so oh. the initials is Tom. Is your name really Tom, though? Mm hmm You got to go to, like, where he's literally, like, I'm going to call him. What up, man? Yeah, we got oh, you. Good. Okay, okay. Um, so let me, uh, let me explain a few things here. I wasn't able to do this the last time you guys were talking about this, but so about... Oh gosh, gosh, is it now two weeks ago? I, I think it was a uh, Tuesday of last week. You guys had Brandon Carter on. Is that with with Derek Moneyberg? Who is that? Or is that yeah. Monday? Uh, Monday. Monday. No, Monday. Monday. Sorry. Who that is? Derek Moneyberg. I don't. I had no idea who that was. I have absolutely no idea. That's like the most Jewish name ever, though. Moneyberg. I thought he said Carter. And then oh. Carter? Did you hear Moneyberg? I heard Derek Moneyberg. I think it was uh, Tuesday. Well, I last heard week Brandon, you guys had Carter. Brandon Carter on. Is that with, with <laughs> Derek Moneyberg? Oh, Brandon Carter <laughs> with <laughs> Derek Moneyberg. I was like, who's Derek? I didn't even hear that part. <laughs> what was the first name? Eric? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon Carter. Carter. Mm hmm. Uh, Brandon Carter okay. is a certified personal trainer, fitness model, nutritionist, best-selling author, social media celebrity, and CEO hailing from Chicago, USA. He became big, oh. uh, a big name in the fitness industry, but his journey didn't have the best of starts. Okay, okay so right, right off the bat, he's kind of has um, like a, like a, 
example, I guess we could put it that way. It seems like that's where he's going with that. Let's listen. You can speed it up if you want. Uh, Monday. 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 Sorry, let me get my camera back up there. So, uh, so Monday, uh, you guys were talking to Brandon Carter. One of the things that Brandon was talking about was you got to love money. You got to be on top of your game. And if you, and I love Brandon Carter, by the way, I think he should be a, uh, he should be a stand-up comedian. I mean, the guy is that funny. He's a great, he's a great guy. Right. But when you guys are on that show and you're talking to him and he's, he's talking about how he doesn't go to, um, when well, he doesn't go to Publix, doesn't go grocery shopping for himself. He doesn't go do his own laundry. He doesn't have a car. Uh, I mean, it's brickle white, right? but, but he doesn't have like some basic stuff because his philosophy in life is this is that anything that takes him away from his grind anything that takes him away from that from uh from anything that would distract him or that would be um financially or mathematically not a pragmatic choice for him to make as far as like if he's spending time going grocery shopping or going and uh you know getting food for himself or whatever else i'm sure he's like into meal prep and everything else but pretty much everything in his life is is outsourced because anything that he would be spending that time himself to go do he could be losing money doing that at that time so when I was listening to this and I was thinking about this myself, cause I was actually at the same time, I'm like, you know, helping a friend move and all this. And I'm thinking about this. I'm going, you know what, if you want to be a high value man, if you want to get to that apex level as fast as you can, that's it. How is that not the, the, uh, the best way to go about it? Okay. So, hmm? so, okay. So I just want to point this out. Okay. So when he says that is the best way to go about it, he has an idea of what that is, right? If there is a best way to go about it, yeah, he has an you don't idea. Have to dumb it down. I know. I'm not. I, I'm not dumbing it down. I'm explaining this just the way that I, I would to anybody me, else. I'm just saying, like, okay, okay. I'm just trying to set it up so that because we're talking about whether or not they're actually like, uh, whether or not he's actually answering their questions, right? And so okay, I'm it, saying this is the question that they're trying to get to is. What do you call it? Not what is it objectively, but oh, what do I, you believe it is? Know, and that's what they're saying that they're, that they're not getting it from. And I, and I explained it earlier, and I'll clarify again. I okay. said literally, like, the reason we watched the video that I made prior to this is because it's still bringing up the fact that they're trying to pick on his character. They want to know how he defines it so they can make a moral judgment on his entire tweet and they're missing the point. They're distracted with it all. The point is that high value, you should have stopped at that part on the tweet. People want, he, the people have been like, why you get a vasectomy? They're focused on all the shit. Literally high value is subjective. Try Googling it if you want. I'm sure you're going to get fucking... We all know it's subjective. We all get this. Nobody's what, arguing right. otherwise. Right. But when you, when you have somebody from Destiny's side that's like laughing already in the beginning, so we're going to pay attention to that, how they're kind of condescending before anything. And that mm -hmm. already puts us in a position of like, oh, fuck, they're about to try to attack our moral character. And like, we don't want to engage in that sort of thing. It's, it's not productive. Mm -hmm. So... That's my caveat can keep going. Okay, so m what what their thing is, is no, it... this is the guy who is the grand wizard of the red pill. What does and that mean? It's, it's just, it's, it's a like joke. The, He's the grandfather. Already... He's the, Here's it's. The thing is, it's like Destiny talks a lot of shit on this stuff. Rolo mm -hmm. knows that. Mm -hmm. so the, like, I know. And, and I've said things to destiny and because i'm not big enough right he he goes with all this big people whatever because i'm not big enough he doesn't take my opinion he doesn't if i've if i've said that's not really red pill he hasn't changed that and a lot of people i don't said think this. that's true it has nothing oh, to do with true. how big I can, you are i can point I, it out I, no no, no, no you're right video. hold on I know you're right about what, like, whether or not he uh, he takes your opinion seriously. I don't think you're wrong about that. You're wrong about whether or not ha it has anything to do with your size. There, you, you remember those girls oh, that went made, on there, Aaron and it. Pixie. Aaron and but Pixie. He said it. He no, said he it was on the stream. He said, "But you're like, what about the big guys?" And I'm like, "Just because we're not popular doesn't mean that it's not the like the accurate definitions. Like the things that people are putting out there is like the 45 second TikTok buzz clips on like the the whistles that you say. But the thing is, there's it's not a whistle. But they're not I giving." Understand. You know, when they say you don't give context, like people make fun of us for that. It's because context really matters in this space. Mm -hmm. Like it's almost annoying, but go ahead. So 
the so the reason he brings up the big guys he's not saying what your opinion doesn't matter because you're smaller what he's saying is if most people are watching fresh and fit and they're not and they're not watching you and what most people call red pill is them and not you that means that you are just no longer red pill and they are so the whole thing about the red pill space is that th- there's two types of creators. There's one people like Rolo who have like arguably started a lot of certain ideas. And then there's people that refute the bullshit. You yeah. can't be both I is the, the amount of like, it's more like, I don't know how to explain the magnitude of it. Like to refute the bullshit is a career of itself. And that's what I do is like, I try to at least, but like, like even him and uh, Ryan Stone refute bullshit and people think that they're being emotional, but what they're annoyed because the shit was never supposed to go mainstream where mm-hmm. people would take these bites and then use it in a really bad way. It was never supposed to be that. It was never supposed to be bad, but it seems like you get the wrong people uh, pushing sort of like a radicalized version of it. And I'm yeah. trying to tell you that it's not. And if we keep saying that it is, and let's say in the future, they want to get rid of it entirely. That invalidates everybody that came before, like stupid people that were done with it, you know? Sure. I don't... And so I would just separate them. And we've talked about this before. So like if tomorrow <laughs> everybody starts calling blue green and green blue, then, that, then those words have just switched. There isn't like an objective thing that blue means or that green means. I mean, the words have just switched down. because that's how that's how people are using the words now. And so now what the word yeah. is being used to communicate is what it means. When people say red pill, they're using it to communicate people like Fresh and Fit, people like Pearl, people like Sneeko, and they're not using it to communicate people like you guys. So uh, I would say you guys are sure the OG red pill, right? That's, or that's the what I call school it. Red pill or something like that because that would just that would because otherwise you're just doing a no true scotsman where we're like uh, yeah. we're the real red pills they're not That's really so cringy red i hate it yeah i know <laughs> i know i do it i have done See, it for i a feel long like time, so i feel I know like what, Lav, she does it too she's mm-hmm. like well that's not really feminism i'm like oh yes. fuck. that sounded like me <laughs> yeah no i yeah. know but it's there's a lot of material in the red pill about people who will take the content and make money off of it and do the bad stuff so like there's a whole thing about making sure you're you're staying true to the message and Mm -hmm. like people like at one point they would just shame everybody and they would split off but i find that if you collaborate with them can have influence over their message and if you do watch some of them you can see kind of the evolution a lot of them were unplugging on camera too and that's you're you're just going to watch them change in their thought process and that's fine but it's going to be confusing to know what is do you know who um who like the the gripers are uh what does griper mean again Groypers are like the guys who, uh, they're like Nick Fuentes followers. They're um, America first, like <sighs> neo-Nazi type guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about them? They're like trad cons, if they're going to yes. be compared to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They call or themselves insult. Red Pill as well. No, they. I don't think so. They, they do. They tell me all the time that they're going to Red Pill me. They tell me this <laughs> all the time. Please like, tell them it's not a fucking verb first. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cringing so this is what i'm saying though is that like right. there's so many different kinds of red pill that when people say shouldn't uh, be. Th- the way that you talk about it it disconnects for everybody else because when you say well no they're not the real red pill everybody immediately hears oh she doesn't know what red pill is that's fine but like i I don't know what to tell people other than I hope you just do the reading. Obviously, me coming in the space, like the older guys, they've been doing the blogs. So it, it used to be like you would make a post and then people would think it out um, what to comment. And now it's very quick. And so I'm trying to operate in a way where I can take Rolo's ideas and consolidate them further because we're changing. We're in a moving time. And in order to get the right message across, I have to find the right words. And like the whole accident thing, it's definitely been challenging. It's been fun, but, but it, 
it's really hard and it's even it always is like uh oh, when i hear them say you took it out of context i'm like oh they're gonna make fun of us fuck 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 because it, it really is always out of context it just to me it doesn't make sense there they never added the context he never said this is the context that it's missing he just okay. kept saying you take it out of context and so to us did he's he saying, say that he said yes he said you guys are taking my tweet out of context oh he said you're over. focusing on the wrong part you're 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 focused i forget what he said he said you're you're focusing on like the wrong things you're not focusing on this that's what i heard him say something like that We'll see. I, I'm pretty sure yeah. he says you took me out of context, but we'll we'll see. But my point right. is that like they're um, that w as soon as he says these are the steps to get there, they're waiting for or they're saying, OK, so if that is a high value man and you're right, like they are attacking, they're not attacking his, his moral character. They're they attacking are. the idea. They are oh, attacking atta the I No, they're attacking the idea. They're saying there's no way is that your this is, definition. What yes. is your definition? And you yes. said that Hold very on, wait, wait, wait. Just let me just let me get through this. Just they're like saying I know. this is there's no way that this is actually high value that like when you say the words high value it should mean there is a lot of value there but with what he says these are the steps to get there it sounds like he's taking away all of this man's value and then saying now you're high value and so that's what they're attacking the idea that this could even possibly be high value so then they keep telling him it. define high value then define it then what is that then and he doesn't actually he no, refuses he said, to do it no he says it's subjective it depends on different cultures I know. that doesn't you that's the I, definition we've been over this a thousand times oh, that no, is no, not no, a no, definition no, no, no. Yes, that is, it is not a def that is yes. not a definition they're I, asking him for his understanding that's on of his high moral value. character because they want it they want that's it the idea literally. that is the no, idea that's not the idea it's not I'm so lost on how you are separating these because, things. Because just because you can separate what we're talking about and being like, that's an idea does not mean that's what they were doing. And it's very obvious. I would just keep playing it so okay. we can like point it out. Okay. So the point of that whole tweet, which was basically a throwaway tweet that everyone started like snowballing into something else. I've got Ben Shapiro coming at me. I got Matt Walsh coming at me. I got Lauren Chen coming at me. I got all these people off of Daily Wire Correct because time. it was just easy, low hanging fruit for these mm -hmm. guys because they think that that's what the fucking manosphere is all about. And it's not. OK, that was not fucking advice. Everything that is on Twitter is not advice. OK, was that a joke? No, it was not necessarily a joke, but it's like, let's just say it's a hypothetical, okay? It's showing you. Now, let me just like five already... seconds. Okay? There's no fucking joke here because that's... everything that's coming. I, I laughed when I heard him say that too. I don't understand. How, it's, it's not a it's... hypothetical. It doesn't make sense. But no, that's a, what are you talking about? Wait, okay, hold on. Recap. The fastest Recap. way to get there. Orange. You're literally paint. You're you're too focused on the like. You're too focused on the fact that it's advice, but it's not advice because I'm not saying it's advice. It. I'm not saying it's advice. I am not saying it's advice. I'm saying he is making a descriptive claim on the fastest no. way to become a high value he's making, man. He's making a um. Hold on, it's like a. Play the video. I'll find it. It's it's uh something with an e. Go. You said play the video. Go ahead. At it. What of you guys' mouth has been nothing but distraction and misdirection because it's easy fucking clicks for you. So here's the whole thing. When I'm talking about get a vasectomy, or don't be, or don't be, or don't be concerned with. Oh, when he's mad, his glasses got uneven on his nose. You see? Yeah. Okay. 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 I don't even know what he said there, but it was true. Are we just gonna have jokes thrown in here? I think he said something about his the glasses on his nose moving when he gets angry. Which is right. So you're hold on. I'm trying to. Uh, Alex just answered, but um. Oh, right away. You just like break it up. Okay. Back on screen. Oh, sorry if you guys can hear that. I don't know how to shut that off. Okay, right away. Destiny just came back with another like dig at him. Like mm -hmm. making fun of his glasses, not listening to him. Des uh, Sneeko's not listening to him. The whole hypothetical thing that you were talking about, that's not what he was saying that Ben Shapiro, Lauren Chen, they were all... Uh, I mean, it was like a low, he said it was a low hanging fruit and they jumped on it because it is a thing that's going to get the trad cons fired up. And right after the Steven Crowder thing, they were fuck, like, we all predicted what would happen and it's happening with the trad cons and Steven Crowder. So then he 
takes that tweet and they jump on it even more and like that's the point and then he goes wait but that's that's a what a hypothetical you said that's what destiny said or no, Nico said no he said rollo said it's a hypothetical and i'm saying it can't be a hypothetical that that doesn't why? make sense what do you mean well, why? What, what is the hypothetical okay go back like <laughs> <laughs> like I'm pointing out that this whole time they're being assholes. You can say I that I don't they're disagree not. with that. No, I'm not that saying that they're not being assholes. They're strictly steamrolling. Like that's I'm a moral not, character. Portia, I don't know. I'm not saying that they're not being assholes. I'm not disagreeing with that. Okay, I am not disagreeing with you okay, that they're being assholes. Why did I explain to you though when they, we're when I we go agree into that these. they're being assholes. The reason though is because they don't think anything he's saying makes any sense at all. No, even like even if they believe everything he's saying, it doesn't make sense. And this is my point, this is their point, this is what everybody's laughing about is that it just does not make sense. It's not it's barely even English. Destiny talks a lot about the red pill. <laughs> so like I Rolo's way of looking at it is like they're talking about red pill all the time and they don't know about it. Mm -hmm. It's annoying. So it's like they're this is smug to me on their end. Sure. They're being I, smug I, I, and condescending to him. Yeah. Like and I just it it's one of those situations where you have to be aware that they're gonna start attacking your character so you can learn how to exit. Otherwise you're gonna get called a rage quitter. And it's like it, there's just no point of conflict. There's there's no resolution with people that do that right from the jump. I wouldn't have, have fucking played with it either. I Look, I, I'm not going to disagree that they're being dicks and that they're laughing and that they're being rude and that obviously he, uh, Rolo's just getting more and more defensive. I'm not going to disagree with any of this. He'll play it's, it. And he's going to keep trying to explain it and they're going to keep doing it. You'll see it now. I agree with all of this. I Again, I agree that they're being dicks. I never disagreed with this, never whatsoever. My issue is that I think I would have reacted the same exact way because it just doesn't make sense. It's just not coherent in any you need way. To, but like knowing destiny and knowing destiny could be like, okay, wait, hold up. And give like an explanation being like, no, I'm saying that I don't understand mm -hmm. what, uh, what you mean by low hanging fruit. He could have started with that. I'm not going to say how people should do a debate, but I've seen destiny be very faithful. And I've say, said it on many streams before. And then the last one I was on with him, I was like, that didn't feel right. And yeah. you guys are familiar with old destiny. I don't know old destiny with like 2060. I don't know that. Sure. Um, so, so right now, I don't think he's being good faith at all. I think he's being like a prick. Sorry, I don't like, don't like to use those I words. think you can be good faith and be a dick at the same time. I, okay, like, then watch it. Then keep okay. going. You tell okay. me. Because, yeah, the questions that they ask are literally the same questions I would ask. Watch how they cut him off every time he goes to answer it and makes fun of it. Okay. Yeah, really about this. Is, that, is, that, is that what I get to? Is that what I get to, to, to do it? Okay, so here's the deal. When I'm, when I'm talking about this, when I'm throwing this out there, why wouldn't you do that? Would you not have been more successful, Sneeko, had you not had to go through certain things? If you had a kid, right? So, now, so you, would not, you, would be, you would be playing the game with a handicap. You would be playing the game with your fucking uh, hands tied behind your back. Okay, so there, are guys right now, there are guys right now who, you have, who I have a lot of respect for, and I'm sure you have a lot of respect for as well, who, are, who all have kids, but you know what they try to do? They try to keep it under wraps. Okay, so sure nobody advice. knows about the fucking kids, okay? So here's, okay, first off, this is Are not fucking say? advice. Everything that is on my show or... Sneeko said that's advice. So yeah, and Sneeko keeps saying, like Sneeko keeps arguing that the whole thing was advice. I remember yeah. watching the beginning. He's like, how is that not advice? And it's because he's not, he has no idea about what an actual high value term is, like high value man in the red pill space, which is it's literally subjective to your personal belief in terms of what you view as high value the fact that he doesn't even know that and he's asking these things why do you talk about red pill you shouldn't be here you give mm -hmm. it a bad name and so that's sort of i'm trying to narrate kind of like the tension okay keep going <laughs> yeah and, and again i agree it's not advice sneak goes wrong it's he's making a descriptive claim like, I can tell you the fastest way to get from my house to the airport. That doesn't mean I'm giving you advice to take yeah. that route. I'm just yeah. saying that is a descriptive claim that is the fastest way. I Whereas saw you say that. Sorry.
I saw you say that. And I was like, yeah, okay. He gets that part. Like mm -hmm. I didn't, not that you didn't get other parts. I'm just saying like a lot of people couldn't pick up on that because they don't necessarily read Rolo's work. Mm -hmm. Automatically advice. Now, but, here, but here's the thing. I you know what you're gonna say because here's the deal. When I was when I was on whatever podcast I was telling this, I was saying exactly the same thing here is that everything that comes out of somebody's mouth on Instagram or on Twitter or on a YouTube, there's no way you can't go on there without somebody going, This is what these guys are saying to do. Because if you have this set automatically, that if it comes out of your mouth, it's automatically advice. It can't just be data. It can't just be statistics. It can't be nothing can Talking be just about delivered. the moral agenda. Certainly, here's, some, here's some data for you to look at. Okay. Nothing can be nothing can be set, nothing can be given to you without somebody going, Well, the reason why you're telling me this is because you're telling me that this is the best way to live my life. Okay. So when I'm watching Brendan Carter and I'm watching all this going on, I'm looking at like guys that I know and guys that you know as well. And when these are the guys who are like saying, you know, be on your game, do this, do that. They're, they're the ones that are giving this advice. All I'm doing is saying, hey, look, maybe you should not focus on family. Maybe you should not get married. I mean, that's, I don't know why that's being maybe advice. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's advice. What I'm saying is that- So pause, like I work closely with Rolo and mm -hmm. I was shocked at how patient he's being with Sneeko. And I know it doesn't seem like that to maybe a lot of people, but he's continuing continuously trying to break it down as much as he mm -hmm. can because Rolo is known for being the one that kind of has to use a lot of words and stuff but like he he's very he has five hour streams shout out Rolo but um, I was so surprised even when he was snapping back at him how patient Rolo was but keep just going. to just to throw this out here we're we're on uh nine and a half hours right now on this Woo! stream so just to, just to throw that out there but um so i my you know impression so far is i'm surprised how patient they're being he is talking they for a very long off. period of time and they'll ask very short questions yeah but what about this and then he goes on another like long answer and then they okay but what about this and then he goes on another long answer and so no, like they're no, not getting twice. they're not getting a lot of jabs in they're not getting a lot of points in they're not arguing they're not making long arguments back they are just asking questions and allowing him to give long answers and that that's because you're seeing it from you're applying a moral agenda to it again that's what i'm, I'm saying what, what no, no 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 Why hear me saying that? hear me out like when i say that i'm trying to like tldr it when he's <clears> rollo <throat> right now is trying to explain how people can't look at things and just be like everything on that list was factually true but yeah. they're saying but it's a fucking advice because it you gave the advice you're the godfather of the red wait belly. He's, wait oh, hold on, hold on me... no because you can't keep you can't keep doing that if you are going I... to say that it's factually true Not... that means hold that on. there is a like... factual thing that is focused a high on value the... man listen you're focused on the high value i'm talking the one <laughs> two three four fucking five listen <laughs> literally okay okay like, it's true if i got a vasectomy and i was a dude in my 20s i would not it, like there's a High likelihood I wouldn't have a baby with a woman, right? Because I have a vasectomy. That mm -hmm. means that I would make a lot of money, right? Arguably. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's all that's all he means by factual. That's sure. it. He's not saying it's right to do that. Don't chop off your no, fucking no, no, no. dick. Again, it you keep taking this back you, you, to no, morality. Said, Nobody is talking about just morality. I was talking about the facts. I was because like, you said high value. I said no, the one two. I'm saying well, these are you just finished that true. statement to say he's not saying whether or not that's right or wrong or the best oh, thing to I, do. Okay, okay, you're getting right and wrong and factually like true mixed up right now. And it's like a kind of it's gonna really be hard to follow. I'm saying factually true just means what Rolo's saying is yes if i, I cut it. off you're I saying one is a descriptive thing one is a, a prescriptive one is moral yes. one is like reality okay yes I get and it. that's I get and it. right now they are arguing they're like it's advice meaning it's moral and he's saying no i'm trying to why is it so hard Sneeko for people is. to un yes Sneeko, yes Nico said it to rolo just now i agree with this and right and rolo is explaining like why do you need to have kids i think is the last thing he said like that would drain your something whatever keep going mm -hmm. Oh, all yeah. I'm just trying to explain. That's it. Like I'm not trying I get to it. argue. I just I, I understand. You keep it's just every time I'm rebuttaling. asking the question, I don't think you're answering my rebuttal. <laughs> I don't I don't think you're listening to me is what I'm saying. Like why? I, because I am answering your questions and I'm actually doing it really thoughtfully. I, okay. I think I'm really like giving you maybe even too much, but like 
you're getting the right and the factual wrong. And I need to make that clear. Just because I'm saying I agree with you on the right and factual. I agree with you on those things. I'm not I but when every time I ask a question about what he said, you say, well, you're focusing on on the wrong thing or you're focusing on this. You're focusing on that. And I'm trying to to make sense of it. And then mm-hmm. when yeah. you say something that doesn't align with the rest, yeah, I'm going to be like, wait, how does that make sense if this is the case? Like, yeah, I'm going to, I want to focus on the entire picture as one big thing, right? Yeah, but we're also pausing at it. The, okay, whatever. Okay. Like, it's being a little disingenuous right now. And you're what? Not- <laughs> You're normally pretty fair, but I don't. How am I being not, disingenuous? You're, you're getting to li- like you're literally mixing up right and facts, and you're telling I, me that what? I, hold on, you're telling me that what I'm saying is wrong, and I'm trying to tell you no. Like I've been listening to you very intently. Like I didn't. I, I want to make you said was wrong, and I'm not mixing those you up. Did, I agree though, with you, you but on I those. never answered it. See, we're already debating on the. I, fact that doesn't mean that, that you're I, wrong. I'm saying that yeah, you didn't answer me. I'm That's not wrong. I'm wrong. just. I didn't I, say I, that you're wrong. I didn't I know, say that you're wrong. I, I said that you didn't answer. Me. I know. I am answering you though. Okay. Over the fucking top that everybody wants to take it out of out of context, which is exactly what you guys have been doing. So what is it? Can you tell me what that tweet was if it wasn't advice? It's not advice. What it is is it's it's okay, it's saying that this is the most extreme way to do things. Okay. Here's the uh, here's the um the quickest path to if I told you this, look, if I said the the quickest way for you to make a million dollars that sounds like advice is to go is to go steal it from the bank or go to steal not it. Listening. Does that mean I'm telling you to go steal it? <laughs> If I tell you to go fucking jump off a cliff, are you going to go jump off a cliff? Right, also, by the way, by the way, here's the other thing is I'm also responding to Dr. Richard Reeves in this as well. Okay, it, it, there's a lot of context about it, sure. But all the rest of the list, you're equating vasectomy to lifting, game, play to your strength, resisting up on easing your focus. The rest of it sounds like... How, uh, why, why did he say that you're equating a vasectomy to lifting? I was like, what are you talking about, Sneeko? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Okay, just... <laughs> Keep going, then. I was like, "What?" General advice. Okay, well, let's, let's say so. So let me let me ask you. So is it the, is it the vasectomy part that's throwing you off? Genuine good advice, right? The rest of it. So is it the vasectomy part? Yeah, the vasectomy part. Do you agree with pretty much everything else except for the vasectomy part? It's trying the first to thing answer is weird it. because then I don't even know what the red pill idea of a high value man is. is. Is it just being rich? Like, what's the point of having all this money and not having a family? Why be that rich? The guy who's always grinding. Whoa, Brandon Carter doesn't have to do his laundry. Sick. What else are you going to do with your life? Right. Right. Maybe this is actually okay, meant so pause? that you'll get it. You'll have a freaking epiphany. Okay. So if I said to you, like, do you think that men need to have kids in order to have value in life? Either yes or no. It's different yes. for everybody. Okay. If you, would you say that to a woman who couldn't have kids? That she's useless now because her v- intrinsic value is to have kids. Well, uh, so for a high value woman, yeah, we would say she's no longer capable of being as high value as a woman who can have kids. Yeah. So that's like really fucked up. Oh, so let's let's go back again. So like we ask a guy or we say to a guy, if a guy doesn't have kids, does he bring value to life? Like, do you have to have kids to be a valuable uh person it's like well so generally when we're talking about high value we're talking about the type of person that you would want to date right and we're saying that you value different people at different in different ways each person looks at somebody and they have like a list of things that they're grading them on to see how valuable they are for like a a partner right and so if i want to have kids if that's important to me if having a family is important to me then her being able to provide children is a large part of that that value so now if right. she can't have kids she goes down on whether or not i would want to be with her or whether i would whether or not i would want to date her right okay yeah so you're talking interpersonally i hear mm-hmm. you but right now like a high a high value man or whatever it's whatever you think it is sure you can apply it to the sexual marketplace but like a person in general like if they can't have kids, if I if I choose to be childless, you're telling me that my value as a human being is lower because of that. As That's a what... human being, but your value as far as like being my wife, yeah. Okay, but let's say you're married to a woman and you find out later that she can't have kids. She didn't know right away. You mm-hmm. leave her? Maybe those... it, like if that was the case, okay. it, it, it's possible. Like, yeah, different people value family at like a really high rate. Like if the yeah. only reason you want to get married 
is because you want to be a father or you want to be a mother and you want to have kids you want to live that lifestyle and now you find yeah. out that the only reason you got married is no longer a possibility yeah maybe you do remember like you you have to make sure that you're internalizing the the high value thing so it's not about there's technically no such thing as high value women in the red pill so i'm playing with it because i'm trying to make sure you understand but the, the reason for that is an entirely different conversation but you have because to you guys believe women have intrinsic value uh the what does myron say like you're born with your value no like the yes but no like you have to build other qualities but the mm -hmm. way that we talk about it with women is way different it's way different it's not i don't want to be using high value woman it's it's quality women um okay. but it, it, like people get really focused on you're born with your value like myron does but no separate that right now you're just talking about what it takes for you as a man be high value right so mm -hmm. don't don't apply um your partner or anything just what it is for you okay. it's just what they're talking about right now i'm just repeating it but you're applying it in a sexual marketplace which i know why you're doing that it makes sense because you want to make like guys are like how can i be the best in the sexual marketplace right yeah I but that's them. it but if you go and look at all of his Examples. You're, you're not wrong you're not wrong i'm saying like we got to make sure that it's it's male now because i was giving you the female example right because mm -hmm. i want you to think like the the way that rollo writes is anything you ever see from him i encourage everybody to flip it to the female perspective and ask yourself do we tell women to do that and mm -hmm. why is it such a shocker right now that we see it like this? Because we're doing it in the male version. That's a separate conversation. I'm trying to mm -hmm. keep it basic right now. But sure. the reason I gave the childless example, because if you told a woman that her only value was to have a baby, people would be in uproar. I'm better than my womb. And well, I would not agree her with only them. value, but that would be part of her, her value, value goes down in like in depth, like at like to some level to you to yeah. somebody. Yeah. So and that's what's really it's where the moral questions come. So you can keep going. I just wanted to get you to think a little bit like outside a little bit more red pill, but not I'm not trying to like bombard you. I just want you to okay. think. Yeah. About how there's how <laughs> all the shit that you have to sacrifice to get to that in the first place what are you willing to sacrifice are you willing to are you willing to live the kind of life let's say like a brandon carter is where you're going to outsource your entire life or are you going to actually have is, is that something that's a priority for you because i will tell you right now that if you do if, if you follow this kind if you fo if you were to actually follow this list right here that is the fastest way for you to get to a point where you are more high value Right. So here's the thing. So when I say that, people go, well, that's not what a high value man is. A high value man is what I define it as, which is he's got to have he's got to have a good, loving, you know, devoted wife. He's got to have uh, he's got to have three or four kids or 10 kids, depending on whatever culture you're talking about. All of this stuff that makes up whatever that person who happens to have that is, then that's suddenly the, the definition of what a high value man is. So what I'm saying, is, I'm saying this is the best way to become a high value man. I'm not saying this is the only way to become a high value man. I'm just saying that this is the fastest way to go and do something like that. OK, do you see so, it now? No. So this is where it goes off the rails is he's saying, I'm not telling you what a high value man is. I'm just telling you this is the best way to get there. Oh, OK. But like everything that he just explained mm -hmm. like very thoroughly right now, mm -hmm. he, was, he was literally saying, like, I'm not saying that you should do all these things. I'm just saying like the your mic is clipping. Oh, is it? OK, hold on. Um, I just have to reset quickly it always there you go okay um so he's saying like these are all the, like these are things that you can do to get from point a to point b we agree with mm -hmm. that i know that but then he's saying um it's going to be it's going to depend if you want kids if that's what value is to you it's going to be different depends on the culture blah blah, blah. and then right now he's saying what did a sneako end off on what did he say he said um but that's advice is that what he said uh, no, he just stopped by saying that that's like, that's what he's doing. I didn't hear. Well, I, say I heard him yet. say it. he said that that's advice, though. He kept saying it like three times. Well, he did earlier. Yeah, well, I'm not saying this is the only way to become a high value man. I'm just saying that this is the fastest way to go and do something. Like that. We've been talking a lot for five minutes. What is your definition of a high value man? 
So that's why I was pausing is to say, so this is where it goes off the rails, where they're asking him, Whole okay, time. then what do you think a high value man is? And he refuses to give an answer, but he can't say that he doesn't have an answer because his list says there is an answer there. It, he believes that there's an answer. It's yes. not an objective he answer, knows. but he, it I is know that. his answer. And that's all he, they're asking him for, but he doesn't he, give them the answer. He gave them the answer. It's subjective. That's the point no, blank that's here. Not, that's not hold on, hold on. Shut you up for two say, seconds. If, hold no, on. No, no, shut no, no, hold on. Wait, no, wait, no, on, no, no. Just wait, let me on, talk. No, please, I know you're. Me. I don't want to yell in my house when my parents are next door. I know what you're saying. You want them to. You want him to give his answer. Rolo's yes. fucking answer. Okay, yes. I'm not fucking retarded. I'm telling you though. Red pills definition that they keep asking for in the beginning was that it's subjective. They're not taking that they've been rude so far and i know you noticed it maybe now yes. you saw it more and i now said he's, the entire time on, i know on, they're being rude on. okay well like why would i as somebody who doesn't debate people because i know it's going to turn into the moral argument he's already bringing up the fact they want to know my definition mm. right? my definition so that they can use it be like well that doesn't align with this because they're still taking it literally keep going okay I so you keep saying this and I'm going to keep disagreeing with you. It is not a moral thing to them whatsoever. They are Why saying Why would they care about what he thinks? Because they're saying it doesn't make sense. That that's no, what they're no, saying. That, it does you not know make that sense. That, yes it does. The, it's subjective. It depends on culture. It's a simple concept, dude. Like value. I don't know. Nobody's why disagreeing that, on that point. You just keep it. getting upset you just about said the, that. No, I'm not getting upset. You you said that I'm not making sense. Please, just I'm listen, telling please, you. Why. Please, no, because for you're the love doing of God. You I don't are just like interrupting you. me. You're not listening to what I'm saying. You I'm listening to everything that you're saying. Okay, and go I'm ahead. responding to it and you ignore what I'm saying and then just talk past it. Oh, I'm not I've never ignored you once. I have clarified on every point. Okay. You have said to me like four or five times, see, they're doing this. I told Told you when I'm like, yes, I've never said I never disagreed, right. but you keep treating me like I'm disagreeing with you on things. You are doing this over and no, over. You're you acting said, like I'm saying said, things I'm yeah, not because, saying. Oh, first of all, I said like, no, we agreed on that just to clarify. And you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like making sure. So when I'm mm -hmm. walking you through and then when I explain it, literally makes sense. And you're saying, no, I'm talking about Rolo. And I'm like, I know that, but I'm telling you, Rolo gave the definition. That is the red pill definition. Them wanting to know Rolo is irrelevant. They're okay. trying to use it to, dis the, to disprove all of those claims. They're going to be like, you have kids, right? Because on there it says get a vasectomy. No. Yes, this is a common thing in red pill. Maybe you're not, maybe you didn't notice I, it that I much. I understand like, what you're saying. I do, I promise. I get what you're saying. I'm saying that what he's saying does not make sense. And that that's what they're getting at is that it doesn't make sense. And it has nothing to do with the morality of it. It has nothing to do with his personal character. It has to do with the list. It does. That it's he about gives. him. It's if the, yes, it's about him, his definition. Not, that's him. What are you it, talking about? I don't I, get how this is confusing. Okay. When I say that it doesn't make sense, do you believe that that is moral character? No. I said when okay. they're asking so about... Right. That's I'm why there keeps being a disconnect is because I'm saying that they are going after the fact that it does not make sense. And then you say, well, they're going after him. Why would they well, ask no, these questions otherwise? And I'm saying you because said it doesn't that, make you sense. Said, you said right now that the point of contention or whatever it was, was that they're, they're going to keep asking him, but what's your definition? You said that four times. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you that it doesn't matter what his definition is it's irrelevant okay. like but you're saying no yeah because literally you just said right now that i'm arguing on the wrong thing but i'm telling you that i'm listening to you and i'm answering your questions i'm telling you his thing is irrelevant it okay, doesn't matter that's what they're arguing about his understanding of it does not make sense they're not talking about red pill they're not asking about red pill they don't care about red pill they're saying you personally gave a list you personally said this list is the fastest way to get there right. you personally believe that there is an idea an idea that is a high value man and these are the steps to get to that idea and now they're saying well these yes. steps can't align with what you call a high value man and so now they're saying you need to tell us what that idea actually is what is it that is actually a high value man and then he says 
I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you it's subjective over and over and that anybody can have their own definition of high value man, but I'm going to refuse to give you what no. I am saying a high value man is. You just, you just fucking like straw man, the absolute fucking went in a loop and I've been focused hardcore. And like, I, I don't know if you're, I can't tell if you're doing it on purpose or if you're, you're genuinely flip flopping to things. I'm telling you what they're doing. I'm telling you what they are doing I, and what yeah, they are asking I know, I watched for. it. I, I, I watched it respectfully. Um, I, I know the whole thing. <laughs> like I, we're watching it together, but I'm telling you right now that it does like, there's no point for them to ask for Rolo's definition. There's an, you don't have like his definition is not going to be the same as yours. And what you're saying is there's kind of one, uh, something that we can all kind of agree on of mm. what high value is. That's well, then saying. you, but that's what you said two seconds ago when you were saying like, but they're trying to say that they don't understand what the definition is and they need him to give it, but he already his gave it. Definition. You can't deny no, I'm literally like, definition. That is not what I said. And I, said I just his said that definition. literally I said that first. And then the second time, see, you're doing that. And I know like it's, it bothers the fuck out of me because it tells me that you're not actually listening. And if I you would like, it. I can play back what you just said. If you, if you would like, play back you can play it back right now. Like it's very, it's very agitated. Like it, okay. it aggravates the fuck out of me because I don't like when people say I didn't say that. And I'm like, I'm literally so focused right now on what you're saying, knowing that I can forget it right now on what okay. you're saying. I, I, I oh think God, there's just like a disconnect on what I mean. I know and what I'm trying to tell you that I know what you mean, but the thing that they're asking for is irrelevant. And Rolo's arguing about the idea and they're arguing, they're talking past each other. I, 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 I agree with all of this. I okay, agree good, with then all let's of this. keep going. <laughs> like, that's all I've been trying to say. And you said no when I first brought that up, when I first entered this disagreement. No, yes, you, can, you can watch it back. Please. Oh. I'll just listen it. to me for half I'll, a second, okay? Just type I'll this up. It. Just I type it up shit. so you can see this, okay? I agree with literally everything you're saying about what it is that he's trying to say and what it is that he's trying Told to communicate. Told me you didn't agree, though. No, I'm saying he does not make sense and that they are trying to point out the fact that he does not make sense and what, what? he's trying to communicate part doesn't does not make sense. You said the, that you agreed with it. So now tell me what part doesn't make sense. I agree with the with the fact that that's what he's trying to say, but I'm saying that when you give these steps, it doesn't make sense to say this is a high value man, but I don't have an opinion on what that high value man actually is and that it's all subjective. Okay. Break it down even more. Fuck the list right now. Did Rolo okay. explain what a high value it, high value man is in the red pill space when they said, what is a high value man? Do you think Rolo gave a definition? Yes or no? I, I think that now that you've said that is the red pill definition, I understand that that's what he's saying now. Yes. It's, I wouldn't even say it's red pill, honestly. Like, you don't have to apply that. Like, it's a high value man. It will always be a subjective term. It's not a red pill term. Of we course. do use it and we use HVM, whatever. But everybody has a different version of it depending on culture. And that's what he said. He answered the question. Now Sneeko is still saying, but that's advice. That's advice. And then he's saying, but I don't know what your version of a high value man is. It doesn't matter what my version is. It's That's irrelevant. all they care about. That's all right. they care about. That's no, all I care a, about. A, That's all no. anybody cares about. So, so in the beginning, what you were saying is, I don't know what high value means right off the bat. I don't know. For him. For him. What do you mean for him? For Rolo, he gave a list. He now saying, they're asking this that. list gets you to See, I knew be you would a get, high value man the I knew fastest. You would get up on the list. I knew yes, it. Yes. That's, that's what all I they care about too. That's what this is all about. Is that's the list. what I told I that I told you right when we had this discussion. Mm -hmm. Fuck the list. Is you stop right at high value. And that's where people go crazy away because they're gonna it, it's a common thing he wouldn't have needed to give a list for people to be like maybe i don't understand what you mean when you say that okay so when you say stop at high value i'm not it. understanding because the list is after high value so what does that what do you mean stop at high value what, okay. is, what does that mean okay so when you read the tweet and he's saying the fastest way to become a high value man right mm -hmm. automatically 
in like trad con spaces, other spaces, because it's Rolo giving it. Remember, trad con's kind of blue pill. Because mm -hmm. it's Rolo, who they don't like, yeah. when he said high value, they went and fucking attacked. He wouldn't have needed to give a list for the trad cons to go nuts. That's why he said it was a low hanging fruit. Maybe you guys don't know that stuff. He's like on Twitter, but like, because it's coming from Rolo and they already don't know what red pill is, but they're making the assumption that they do. And so they always comment, you'll see it now, you won't be able to unsee it, but they're like, this guy doesn't know what a high value guy is, or mm -hmm. a high value guy is a guy that goes to church. A high value guy is a guy that has babies, get it? Mm -hmm. That when I say stop at high value, I'm saying literally that's where everybody already went fucking nuts. And then like they see the list and they're like, okay. this guy's married. <laughs> That's okay. the moral thing. So if he had put, mm. this is what a high value man is, or this is the fastest way to get to be a high value man, right? And he put that. And then he said, um, get married at 18, uh, have as many kids as possible, go to church every Sunday, yeah. um, pray as much as possible. They, they didn't Trad stop cons? at high value man. They didn't stop at high value man. They care about the list. Oh, the see, high now... value man is, is, just a, is just a symbol for them. The list tells them what he thinks a high value man right. is. But and I'm so they're disagreeing with the list. I hear you. I understand what you're saying. You're saying so like, okay, if like, let's say it was a different list on there and they stopped at high value. They're still, they're, the reason that they're making arguments is because of the list and i know yes. i hear what you're saying i'm telling you to stop at high value for the sake of understanding before we get into dog whistles yeah. it's just my way of explaining it you're right though you're right <laughs> i'm just saying in our space like they already know rollo so try to like see how quick they okay. are i guess yeah okay and so destiny and sneeko are saying all right we don't think that what um that this could actually bring value to a woman, that what you're listing could actually bring value to anybody at all. And so now, if you will just tell us what you think a high value man is, we will explain how this doesn't actually make sense. But when he refuses to give that definition, it sounds like he's saying, oh crap, I realized I just put myself in like a massive corner and I'm screwed and I'm just gonna refuse to answer this so that I don't look bad. I honestly think it's just they're being impatient when he's giving answers. And so Rolo doesn't feel like they're listening to him and they're just laughing consistently going on. So it's like, why am I giving this is my perception? I work with Rolo, but it's like, if you're going to treat me like everything I say is dog shit, why would I answer to your questions? That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm just saying. Guys, I might get that because I felt like that before. Yeah. But when I feel like that. I leave. I don't sit there and continue answering questions without answering questions. I just leave. Whereas you're oh. saying, well, why would he answer the question? I don't know, but he's trying, he's acting like oh. he's answering the question. Like I said, in the beginning, he's being very patient with Sneeko and mm -hmm. the way he's talking to him, it, like, he, I think he's like, uh, I'm ADD. I think he might think like Sneeko is kind of like not listening and not paying mm -hmm. attention. So he's explaining it and he knows that he already follows some of the red pill concepts. So I think he's giving him leeway trying to explain it. But then he realizes, oh, this is getting into morality because they keep asking me what my version is. And that's why I said they're talking past each other. Okay. Sweating. I can tell you. I'm mean. just going to tell you it's subjective over and over and that anybody can have their own. Oh, this is my video. It was like loud. That was loud. Is it loud? Yeah, it was so loud. It doesn't matter. That's not what I was talking about in this. It doesn't matter. I, I, I know what you're talking about. That's the front of the first part of the tweet is how to become a high value man. The fastest way to become a high value man is to oh, recognize the fact, to recognize the fact that you've got that you've got sacrifices to make. Okay. So like what is that? Telling like stories from Vietnam. Like, just say what is a high value man? It's the first part of the tweet. What does that mean? You tell me what a high value man is. Oh, yeah. Because here's the thing: is it, doesn't okay, matter, pause. it doesn't matter what I'm going. He's saying, like, you tell me what it is. What's your definition? He's not even being, like, rude. Like, yeah, he's trying I to explain it. it's it, a subjective concept. He's, he's not just saying it's subjective. So he's explaining this poorly. But he's trying to oh, say, he I'm showing you that no matter what 
your definition of high value man is, there is a list. I'm just showing you my list, but you have a list as well. And that person has a list and that person has a list. And they all need to think of what that list is to get to that high value. I'm not going to tell you what mine is, but I'll show you my list and that you can get an idea of what I think a high value man is. But if you're going to ask me what a high value man is, I'm going to ask you what a high value man is. And then you can figure out your own list. So that's what he that's what his me, last statement tells me correct me if i'm wrong but do you think that um so when you say my i just want to make sure i have this clear so the list rollo makes right that mm -hmm. we're all looking at the tweet like are you saying that's rollo's like his list opinion. for his personal self or just in his objective opinion seeing how stats are because it's no, like his, it's yes it's his opinion on okay. what he thinks a high value man is to him he doesn't follow it clear he, I like Rolo, one way Rolo or the other, it wouldn't matter. Okay. Like, well, it, it does, wouldn't matter it's whether important. or not. I don't think anybody cares whether or not he follows it. I think that they're just talking about whether or not he th what he thinks a high value man is. Again, they're it, from my perspective, they are only attacking the idea. They don't care about him, what he's doing, what any of that. They are talking about the fact that what he's saying just doesn't make sense. Well, like so I'm trying I'm trying my best to explain the dog whistle. So everything that I'm saying to you is going to have two definitions and they're mm -hmm. going to seem really contradictory and that's probably where we're getting uh a little like this that's why red pills like not something that a lot of i didn't understand it when i first read it but like you have to see that there's going to be two seemingly contradicting points i i can't even like pick it out for you but just like keep it in mind <laughs> trying okay. to like help make it make sense i don't know if i'm helping i'm gonna say he's a high value man you guys are fucking <laughs> laughing <laughs> I, it doesn't matter what I say is a fucking high value man because everybody takes this. The point of the fucking tweet is that everybody is going to take this and then insert their own definition of what a fucking high value man is. What if a high value That's man is twelve kids when you're sixteen? Then your tweet doesn't it work. It. What if your definition of a high value man is being? So do you do you see what did you understand what Rolo just said? Like he's saying like the point of the post or whatever is like people are gonna insert whatever their personal thing is and then. Like everybody's like going to just said, agree. They all have their own list. Yeah. And then now Destiny is saying, if you said this to somebody, if you told them to cut their dick off, is that good advice? And Rolo just explained to you that high value is going to be different for everybody, right? Yeah. Okay. So like they're still talking past each other. Just wanted to like make sure that everybody got it. It seems simple, but it's like, I, it's, it's really hard to pick up when somebody is either talking about your tweet or your personal life, yeah. like, or like they have the advice quotes. So uh, when they, so now once they get to the vasectomy, okay. So now they're saying, okay, if I said, I, I have my own subjective opinion on what a high value man is. Um, and I'm going to put out a list. You need to eat dog crap. You need to cut your wrist three times a day. You need to make sure that everybody thinks you're gay. You need to make okay, sure. I, th I think you're straw manning. I think you're straw manning it because, like, the, the, you're making it really extreme. I don't know if you're purposely like doing yeah. that. Yes, no, it's an extreme. So I, so I. So say those this, are all I... really bad things. Like you could make the argument that that's where it gets like really tricky because the well, things so he was where... saying were like not bad. Well, so that's what I was saying is that I'm giving you a list and I'm saying this is like my subjective belief of what a high value man is. You wild, but, but I hear you. <laughs> but it's like insanely contradictory to the word high value. Like, okay. like it has to have it has to attach to reality in sure. some way, somehow. But everything I'm listing is like the opposite of what you so, would think of so when you say high value. So oh, you're telling me that Rolo's tweet, the list, now we're on the list. The list does not, uh, you don't think that there's any truth to it. You think that it's fucking like, hor you're saying that it's horrible to what high value kind of is. Because we all like, I know it's getting confusing because we're saying subjective, but there are objective truths mm -hmm. and we all kind of follow similar things. They might not be identical, but like makes good money in the West would probably be a universal in the West mm -hmm. one. But like you're saying right now that Rolo's list does not uh, equate to high value, correct? Yeah. So I'm saying what they're getting at is that there are parts of the list 
that huh. do not attach to reality and the word high value. Mainly one thing on the list that the is going, me? yes, that is going to bug okay, the hell so, out of so everybody. I want us to take a break, go to the list, but this is a separate thought. I remember when you say dog whistles, I know exactly what you mean with red pill because it's it took me like a year to understand the shit. So I'm going to do yeah. like a, a thought experiment. I don't know if I can you. find the list. Uh, I remember uh, it was on the video. You can just skip through it. Remember? Yeah, but I don't want to lose like where, where we're at. Um, it's gonna be type oh, in he quote tweeted not so erudite it's literally oh. from my first book at 29 oh he calls her a dumb cunt oh my goodness he's wild okay oh type it type in the list oh rollo twitter <laughs> isn't that how all people are on twitter i heard twitter's I like a, they're wild the somebody was saying if mm -hmm. people didn't have twitter would be a lot nicer i didn't realize twitter is like where people go to be fucking savage mm -hmm. i'm like damn people are talking some serious smack about me and i was like damn they're like you should kill yourself i was like oh my god i feel like i'm back at home with my sisters like what the fuck yeah it, it, it is insane. wild I, I don't act that way on twitter but lots of people do like it's... does anything go pretty <laughs> it much feels yeah. like dude it's wild it's just like a way for people to attack each other and it's kind of by like the format uh, when you have like quote tweeting and crap like that the way that it it's I set up really you're obviously going to be like highly incentivized to oh, to uh, fight and uh, act the way that they do so yeah if i had a twitter back when i was younger i would be canceled like dead ass um i'm typing it in I value man tweet because it came up when I googled it before. Um, hopefully it will. You still hear me? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't see it. He really likes those boobs, doesn't he? <clears throat> Can you type it in on Twitter and then it pops up? I don't know. Okay, so. Here, I'll just try to summarize it. Just try to follow me. I'm really bad. Okay, so take that list, and what would the feminine version be? If you the can. feminine version, uh, yeah, stay in shape, um, don't have kids. Um, don't have kids is uh, yeah, that's a good one. But okay, there's family formation, right? And then vasectomy, and these are like two kind of confusing ones family formation translates in red pill don't get involved with single moms no they already do though there's like it's like that's one of the things people don't get is like a lot of men date single moms mm -hmm. don't, don't come for me okay so don't get involved with single moms and then vasectomy so do we tell girls like wait until you're 30 to have kids be on birth control don't have a don't get don't be 16 and pregnant obviously mm -hmm. but like um then we also said my friend got pregnant and i don't know if i should laugh or cry right mm -hmm. that that meme or whatever yeah. okay so just like kind of have that in your mind and then what else was there lift consistently you can get plastic surgery if you want do you do it for you queen that was the one that i came up with because mm -hmm. i'm like what do they say about us and then what else was there get your there? tubes tied no so like the the things we tell women are wait until you're 30. so mm -hmm. uh, i'm trying to i'm trying to show you that if you think about all the messages we tell women and then flip it to whatever the male is mm -hmm. you would get rollo's list and the craziest thing about it is it's so fucking insane nobody's paying attention to it so we do all that for women but the feminine version so a lot of times when rollo writes there's going to be the male and feminine version. And the reason that it's so contentious is because the, the male version would be to cut off your dick. Why is it so crazy? Because we don't really, we never really enforced or had, um, we didn't promote that men should take birth control. Shit, we said they're stupid, that they, they can't remember to take a pill. The irony, mm -hmm. like the way that men have been conditioned. So the most, ex the equivalent to birth control for a man would be vasectomy. Which is like wild 
So it's already trying to get you. Uh, it's the, that's the equivalent to getting your tubes tied. That's why I said tube side. Is so because... tubes, tubes can be re like reversed a lot more than a uh, vasectomy. They can, but when we're talking about like going in and having a procedure done that is meant to be permanent, we're going to compare vasectomies to tubes tied. No, because tubes tie a lot of, I thought tubes tying was like easily reversible. It, no, not easily. Like okay, you can... so uh, hold on. You, you're you're on a thought, but let me let me try to explain it. Okay, do you think that feminism? Uh, let me not word it that way. Okay, so we tell women go to school, get education. Uh, do you get a career? I promote it. Be a boss bitch, right? Mm -hmm. So is it possible that when women get to that stage and they're looking for a guy that's like economically attractive to them? might have a harder time and so therefore it might put off the fact that they can have kids and may never have kids like well, so new... he has a he has a list right here cool okay uh, yeah but but are you following my my line of thinking because we're we're doing a thought experiment right now okay. this is separate okay okay so like when i say um feminism i know that I, there's probably feminists in your chat but just hear me out on this okay i'm not mm -hmm. i come with good faith i'm just trying to explain it don't be good faith I, with feminists no like i i a lot of my friends are feminists i'm no, just saying don't be like, friends people, with feminists they're the people, worst people in the world people see me making red pill content and they think i hate hate like a certain group and i don't hate anybody but i do use like left to try to summarize because i can't find certain words in my head to be more nuanced mm -hmm. so but like feminists like okay so they kind of pushed us to go to school you know get a career do your thing but what they didn't really tell us is that you know you your best time to find a guy or when you have the most options is also during the time when you go to school so no one tells us that so like women get to 30 and maybe they can't have kids. Okay. So when we say vasectomy, I still think that the equivalent is the birth control, the push of the pill. Okay. No, it's kind of, it, there, this has absolutely nothing to do with like what the thing is, but I'm trying to help you kind of see like how Rolo writes and how to find the two meanings, I guess. I don't know. 31 super chatted five dollars rollo gives Get his excited. definition for high value mail and this isn't an argument yes people right. will disagree but Over. it won't matter still give your own def oh PMS. this is something else yeah he's written about this in the woman's essay i can pull it up for you uh, sorry essay... I, somebody just sent me a don't know so i was... say for women want me to put the i can put the link if you guys want it or do you not like to have links in the chat I don't even know how to put if you type in an essay for a woman for women uh by the rational male it was written in i think it was i think it's an old one it's one of my favorite ones um if you go all the way to the bottom you can read the whole thing but there's value added so the thing that he has the tweet on hold on, i'm trying to go back okay stay in shape be debt free, blah, blah, blah. This is what would, what did, did he say? Uh, ladies, if you want to keep a man. Okay. So it's a little off topic. You want to go into it though? I'm just saying, if you want to read more, there is like an essay that he's written all about this. It's like pretty straight. Do you want me to read it? Like, I feel sure. like there's a lot of it and it's going to hurt um. my jaw. It depends. What is it? What, you said this is about the like I, I, uh, I how think, women. Yeah, I think if people want to understand what he's talking about there, but I don't think it's relevant to what we're doing right now. Just like if I get okay. you too too much on the girl side, it's gonna fucking throw you for a loop. Okay. Um. Yeah. If you want to just put it in my Discord, I guess okay. everybody will have it. Yeah, because it's, it's a good essay. It's one of my favorite ones. I encourage people to read it so you can get an idea of his style. Uh, where I see, I, I don't know where to put it. I just click on it, click on your chat, and then where's the chat thing? Oh, chat. Uh, at the top, general? Yes, general. Okay, got it. And how do I go back? What were we on? Just click on me. No. Oh. 
shit. She was, okay, got it. Back. <laughs> okay. All right. So My chat's going to the the yeah. video. Yes. Yeah, Honestly, it's just yeah. Five kids by the time you're 22. Then it also wait, 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 about you being an esports professional. Wait, you're, making my, you're absolutely making my point for me right here. Okay, sure. this is what I'm, I'm saying. Sure. My point is, is a high value man. You gave a list of eight things. Do these eight things to become a high value man? Do one through eight to become A. And you're not defining what A the is. The fastest so, way to becoming a high value is man is, is these things. Right. What is that? Okay. So here's the thing. So if we're talking about family creation, we already talked. Okay, so you want to go? Okay, let's go one by one. You want to go one by one? Okay, no, so I'm going to go the before one by one. What is a high value man? We can't have an argument if I don't even That's know what your point is. The, but the he just told you. The fact that you're even asking this in the first place is the actual point of the fucking tweet, okay? So if, you got, if you're going to be a high value man with the fucking hands tied behind your back, then what is that? what does that mean to you? That's the point. This whole discussion is the point of the fucking tweet. Do you, you guys you get it? You've got some conception of a high value man. Tricky. There are eight points that you think you need to do to get to it. And now you've gotten blown the fuck up on the vasectomy thing, which you probably realize is fucking retarded. But you're too old and stubborn to walk back from it. That's the point of this conversation. I'm not too stubborn to fucking walk back from it because the point of it was to get douche nozzles like yourself to fucking have this conversation <laughs> in the first place. How old are you, bro? <laughs> cool. Douche nozzles? Yes. You, okay. fuck, you guys are fucking idiots. Why are you guys come in here from fucking Twitch Strat? Like, how you guys are legitimate in all this? I don't know because everything I've here come out of you guys is not this just fucking confident ignorance. I'm not sure. Like, no, 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 Myra, Myra. Okay, I'm not asking you like in terms of the you call yourself the godfather i don't know if he means confident the manosphere okay other people have called me that i think like confident ignorance is smug i think that's ours the vibe i get and i think i think it's fair i think the way that they were engaging was not very kind it could have been a lag i don't know because it seemed like maybe they didn't mean to talk over each other but there was like some sort of lag or something parts yes yeah, so I couldn't even understand them when they would ask questions while he's explaining something. I don't know if that's just, I, I couldn't yesterday. And so I know that Rolo's probably like, well, like, I'm explaining it to you, you're not listening. And like, I don't know, It that's just, hopefully maybe I opened your eyes. We can keep going. It's just that they're past each other now. Now it's just emotional. Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't, again for me they're trying to ask him what his we gave it, it his no. subjective definition is and when you keep saying he gave it sure he gave something but that's oh. obviously not what they're asking for they're asking for what he calls a high value man what he believes a high value man is what is his subjective See, understanding they didn't of a high value man so he's saying what no like destiny and sneeko still haven't said what's like oh, maybe they maybe when you say what's your definition he gave it to them watch it back again rewind it he's giving it to them they're not taking it they don't like Wait, it when you say he gave them one you're saying he said it's the definition he he gave them the definition which is is it's subjective and you still right. want him to put a monetary value on it he no, can't or that's not put what some... they're asking for he's answering a question they're not asking he they are asking oh, no, him pause. what he I just believes you... a yes high i know value i just man. said that tom okay. you're being very like like i just gave you both versions there's two there's one that is the main definition that is subjective you okay. have to define it for yourself the second one they're not asking. They are saying, what is the definition of a high value man? And he's telling you it's subjective. I thought I explained it. Like he's like dumbfounded why they're still right. confused. No, I, and I you're saying that no, they're no, no, asking no, no. for Hold Rolo's on. version. Yes, I know saying, what you're saying, but I'm wait, telling you. Hold on. Okay. So at first they say the definition, what is a, they don't even say a definition they never ask for a definition they say what is a high value man that's what they ask over and over what is a high value man then how can I we know what you're talking about if we don't definition. know what a high value man is he explained then, it in the first on, 10 seconds Torsha, this is like Sorry. the fourth time i'm trying to get through because this i just i don't get why this you're is not so answering anything that i'm asking so please just I stop am. you are not no it, it has nothing to do with what I'll i'm saying leave. please just listen I, just chill you why am i can, talking because you keep talking over me. You're not listening to what I'm saying. You've interrupted me like four times no, just trying to get through one Hey, sentence. hurry up and do it because I already know what you're going to say. I explained it like a hundred fucking okay. times. So you have. So at yes, first they say a definition, but then eventually they start saying, okay, fine. Your, your understanding. What do you think a high value man is? What are you talking about when you give a list? So at that point, 
he knows that they are not asking about a definition that says oh, it's subjective. Doesn't. He knows he, this at that point. If they are saying, what are you talking about when you say high value man? Oh, but I'm telling you right now, he doesn't know that. Okay. He doesn't. Okay, maybe. I saying what's the definition? I didn't hear your and even if they did, I don't think Rolo is getting why they're confused. I'm saying I, they haven't said that yet. Now, all, for, so now far, they, all they've said yeah, is okay, stop a that, definition. <laughs> they, I'm saying that they haven't said they all they've said they said so far did. is they a definition. No, they said what's the definition? Hold on, let me go back. I think he said, I thought he said, like what is a high value man? Self to fucking I said, have this I said that first, the and then you said that that wasn't accurate. And then I said the what's the, you said that wasn't accurate. Then you said what's yours, and I played with that, and you said I'm wrong. So no matter what I give you right now, you're telling me I'm wrong, and I don't think you're actually listening to me. And it's I'm sorry, really I didn't say any of that. None of that happened. Okay, then I I'm gonna leave because I don't I don't participate like that. Like that's really fucked up. Like I don't You're like just that. making stuff up, Torsha. Oh, I will litter happen. I will litter You are just I promise okay, you don't that do did that. not happen. Don't. We have oh, the video and we can yeah, go back and watch it, it if then. you want to. Rewind it then. Okay. Right now. I don't like when people play I don't play dirty debate tactics. I don't I don't do that. I, I don't care about debate. I don't care. I don't oh, know why you're this is a, no, this is what you do. You tell people that no, that didn't happen. I've watched streams where they literally did say it. We can clip it up. I don't give a fuck, but I'm telling you right now, I'm paying attention. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> he's telling you it's subjective. I thought I explained it. Like he's like dumbfounded why they're still right. confused. No, I, I And understand. you're saying that no, they're no, no, asking no, no. for hold Rolo's on. version. Yes, I know saying, what you're saying, but I'm wait, telling you. Hold on. Okay. So at first they say the definition. What is a, they don't uh. even say a definition they never ask for a definition, a definition they say, never a high value man that's what they ask over and over. What, what is, is a high value man then how see can how you know what you're talking that? about if we that don't definition. know what a high what? See, uh, so pay attention so you just said what is the definition what is the definition and then what is a high value man and then i don't know if they said what is the high value man okay keep going Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm I'm keeping track of what you're saying. I so feel that like you, you can... literally just said I didn't say that. What Rewind I just took again. from you uh, is I'm, where I'm you said. I thought you oh said that God. you said I told you the definition, a definition, and you said no, that's not it. And I was saying no, I didn't say that. I was saying this right here. I was saying they said a definition yes. or the definition, and then, and then eventually I... your definition, and eventually and... they get to saying like, what is your understanding, or what do you right. think? You I proved my in? point because now you're going to tell me that when I repeat that back to you, it was wrong, and I literally verbatim repeat back what you said and you're telling me that i'm wrong but that like go ahead and keep playing it how you value man is he explained then, it in the first 10 seconds Tosha. this is like Sorry. the fourth time i'm trying to get through because this i just i don't get why this you're is not so answering anything that i'm asking so please just I stop am. you are not no it, it has nothing to do with what i'm saying please just listen just explain just to you chill. what subjective you was because you keep talking over me. You're not listening to what I'm saying. You've interrupted me like four times no, just okay. trying to get through one Hey, sentence. hurry up and do it because I already know what you're going to say. Yeah. I explained it like a hundred fucking okay. times. So you have. So at yes, first they say a definition, but then eventually they start saying, okay, fine. Your, your understanding. What do you think a high value man is? Us. What are you talking about? You never you? said that. What? You never said your and you already were saying the three things that they said were the A and what is high value man. And then I'm saying he literally explained it. And now you're saying the opposite. You see okay. what I'm saying? Okay. This is what I, again, I'm trying to, in this, I'm trying to say that they are saying a definition. Then eventually they start saying, well, or not even a definition. What do you think a high or what is a high value man? That's what right. they ask. What is a high value man? Then eventually yeah. they start saying, what do you think a high value man is? What, what hey. are you saying a high value man is? That's what I'm yeah. saying in here is that's all I'm trying to get to over and I know, over. So I, I know, I know. Go. So I'm trying to and say eventually attention. they say you at what do you think a high value man is? Okay. And then I, so now that we got that the video so you see how you threw me in the circle and saying i'm wrong because it's it, it matters okay maybe i i'm still confused 
<laughs> no, I'm, okay, I'm not so lie. I no, still don't no, understand. you're thinking too much. What you just told me is saying eventually, like it went from what is to what is your definition. Mm -hmm. We agreed on that a long time ago, but every time I repeat it to you, you tell me no, and I'm trying to show you right now that you you say no, but we agreed already. So keep going. I'm saying, like, play it so people can see that you have a tendency to be like no and then saying that i'm wrong when we had already agreed and it's when like don't do don't play that way so at that point he knows that they are not asking about a definition that says oh, it's he subjective doesn't. he knows he, this at that point if they are saying what are you talking about when you say high value man oh but as he said you. right now he doesn't know that okay he doesn't okay maybe I saying what's the definition I didn't hear your and even if they did I don't think Rolo is getting why they're confused didn't say your I'm saying they haven't said that yet now all, for, so now far they, all they've said yeah, is okay stop doing a that, definition <laughs> I'm do you see it now <laughs> I tell like now you see like you told me originally that they said what is what is your and we agreed that they didn't get there yet and then now you're saying no i'm saying they did that and i'm like no we already agreed they didn't get there yet dude you see it now how you just said no but we know in the video they didn't say what is your definition yet that's all i'm trying to show you okay okay you're saying they didn't do it yet I oh, you that. you first said that they did. I said that they didn't do it yet, and you agreed. You were like, "Yeah, no, they didn't yet." And then, right. and then but now that... you're saying that they no. I like now you're like, "No, they said it," and I'm like, "No, they fucking didn't." And you're like, "No, you're not listening. You're wrong, or whatever." And I'm like, okay. "No." If I, I didn't hear me say that even just now. But you, what I was trying to say is that Rewind this is what then. they're trying to get across is that like eventually they're asking what yeah. even when they say what is no. a definition they're asking no. for his and then what is yours that but when you say don't do that you said that i said because no, i'm on your as side though I'm disagreeing with something else you just disagreed with me though saying that that they did say that and i'm telling you no we already agreed they didn't get there yet we've both okay. watched, watched the video yesterday I'm saying, and okay. then you said that I'm, I, I'm not listening to you, and I'm trying to tell you that I am. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I, I, even when I hear myself back here, I still don't hear myself saying that. But I, I maybe I'm just like. I uh, promise you, I come in peace. I don't know how to. I do don't. It. I don't think you're. I don't think I have not accused you of being bad faith. You're the one accusing me of that. No, you I keep saying no, that saying that's all. not what you said, and I'm not somebody that puts. I'm always a, a steel man person. I will make your argument better if anything. That's I what don't I do. That's oh, but I, I no, but but you're accusing you, me of things that I don't think I'm, not, I'm doing. Okay, if you're gonna say that I'm accusing you when we already agreed that like it happened, then I'll leave because I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. I'm just telling you what factually fucking happened, what reality is. It might not be comfortable, but like I'm just saying, like you are saying that what I'm saying isn't happening, and you're denying my reality. Gaslighting. That's what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, even there, that is not what I'm meaning to communicate. So what you are hearing is very different from what I'm hearing when we listen to this back. When I say no, I'm not saying no to what you think I'm saying no to. And then I'm trying to explain afterwards. And you're and then you're getting mad at me for something different than what I'm saying. what you're explaining is what I already said right before it. And so it's frustrating. Okay. May, maybe that makes sense. Okay, so it... If it's because you th you just said it, then that's fine. But there, what I'm trying to say is when you keep saying he gave a definition, I'm getting frustrated because I'm saying, well, so what if he gave a definition? That's obviously not the one that they're asking for. So who cares? I can so, give a definition of anything. If it's not what somebody's asking for, it's not re very helpful, right? But Destiny and Sneeko asked specifically what is a def or what is the definition of a high value man they asked it more than once i am telling you rollo answered it point blank period they didn't get to your yet even if they did it still doesn't matter it's irrelevant okay thing that they haven't said they all they 
How old are you, bro? <laughs> Douche nozzles? Yes. You, okay. you guys are fucking idiots. Why do you guys come in here from fucking Twitch? Like, how you guys are legitimate in all of this? I don't know, because everything I've heard come out of you guys' mouth is just fucking confident ignorance. I'm asking, really like, no, 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 Myron, Myron. Okay, I'm not asking you, like, in terms of the debate. You call yourself the godfather of the red pill. You, you call myself the godfather of the manosphere, okay? okay? Other people have called me that. Okay, great. That's that very, do you okay. understand? Okay, so the as that- or grandfather of the manosphere? Which one is Whatever it? it is, the old guy of the manosphere. What is your definition of high-value man? This is the number one talked about topic on all of these shows. So I want to get a clear definition from you. What is it? You tell again. It depends on the person. It depends on the culture. It depends on the. So here's the thing. Let me let me tell you. Is the definition understand? Yes. Sneeko's go, the Sneeko's going between what is your definition because he believes that Rolo is the one that comes up with the terms. So he he's like you're the Godfather. You're the one that makes the rules. What is it? I don't even think he's asking for his personal. I think he's asking what is the definition, and I'm telling you that Rolo gave it to them three times already. Okay. Don't care that it's subjective. They want they're laughing it. because that's not what they're asking for, and they think no, it's blatantly no, 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 no. obvious that that's not what they're asking for. And then when he the doesn't definite, answer that... over and over, everybody's laughing because they're like, "What? Why? Why does he keep doing this? Has he knows he... that's not what they're asking for." Oh, but no, see, this is where like what you're saying is just wrong respectfully i'm telling you that the definition of a high value man is subjective this is what it is high value man equals a subjective term that is going to depend on your experience and what your culture says about what is uh more valuable and so i need another word more um worth more whatever in your society it's value yeah like whatever value is like, uh, yeah. And then he said that, that's the definition. The definition is not, he's gotta be six feet tall. I don't know if this is what people are expecting. High value man equals six feet tall, six pack abs. That's not what it means. High sure. value man equals a subjective term to describe somebody that is worth more in society, whatever it is. Sure. But it's um, on your culture. Do you, okay. do you follow? I do. Let's just go back a second. Come out of you guys' mouth is just fucking confident ignorance. That's I'm asking, like I'm from no, 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 Myron, Myron. Okay, I'm not asking you like in terms of the debate. You call yourself the godfather of the red pill. You, you call myself the godfather of the manosphere, okay? okay? Other people have called me that. Okay, great. That's that very, do you understand? Okay, so the as that- Godfather or grandfather of the manosphere? Which one is Whatever it? it is, the old guy of the manosphere. What is your definition of high value man? This is- So, yeah, so then he says, what is your definition of high value man? So right. this is why- like he's, do you think he's, he's asking for he's his? Saying, yes. So before he's saying the definition, now mm -hmm. he's saying, okay, fine. I obviously I'm not happy with your answer of the definition. So now I'm asking you for your definition to be more specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say it's subjective. You say everybody has their own. Fine. What's yours? Uh, and yeah, then no, he gives I know. the same I get definition. It. Well, that's because right before it, what did he say? This is why He's, context matters. I, I think you, yeah, yes. When I think what you're saying makes sense now, because when he says you're the godfather of the manosphere, so now it sounds like he's giving the definition for yeah. the manosphere. Yes, that makes and sense. And that's now. why I think Rolo is saying he's giving the same answer again. Yes, it makes sense. I get, I get it now. Because yes, as soon as I yeah. heard him say, yeah, the you're the godfather of the manosphere, so your definition now. Now he's th hearing like, okay, so as the person who's supposedly in charge of the manosphere, I have to now represent the manosphere with a definition. So I'm going to yeah. give the definition for the manosphere. Yeah. yeah. We we would roast anybody that gave some sort of like six feet. We'd be like, this guy isn't fucking red pill. That's how we would react. So I think that's why too. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Getting it's it. The number one talk about <laughs> We're getting it. Shows, so I want to get a clear definition from you. What is it? You tell again. It depends on the person. It depends on the culture. It depends on the. So here's the thing. Let me, let me tell you, maybe I can explain this to you, Sneeko, because at least you got it. You got your ears open here. The thing is, is that when we're talking Wasn't about rude, what, what's the, the top G, what's a high value guy? You probably haven't heard this because you don't read my stuff and you don't watch my shit. No. But I've also said this is like it, the red pill has to be for everybody, or it has to, or it's for nobody. So if we're looking at a guy who's draped across a Lamborghini and he's got hot chicks with him, and we say that's what I'm aspiring to, but I'll never make that because I live in a fucking fishing village on the coast of Chile, right? That means I can never be. I can yeah. never 
never match that that high apex of a, of a high value. Right. Yeah. The guy in the car? But the guy who, who happens to live in those villages or happens to be in a different culture or in a different country or whatever else, he can still benefit from that because however he's defining himself as a high value man in his fishing village, maybe that's what he that's what that's he can aspire what to. Answers. That has nothing to do with Chile and a village in the car. See, what you, what see, here's the thing. You guys, want, you, want, you guys want me. Do you see how he's being condescending? And Rolo just mm -hmm. literally explained to him how you can have top chi, but uh, some guy in a village that's like a fishing village to mean like a poor whatever mm -hmm. place he can't see tate and find that attainable red mm -hmm. pill has to be like you have to be able to plug yourself into it and be able to apply whatever you can it would be a cult arguably if it was anything else it would be an ideology if it was anything else where you had to follow some ideal which a lot of people think we're trying to push and we're not i hope that made sense but i hope you can see where they're being like I get it. Rolo's they want it to be patient. applicable to a broad amount of people. Yeah, but like Rolo gave a, a good example. I don't know how else to dumb down like what a subjective definition is. Sneeko mm -hmm. wants him to say six feet tall, six pack. He, he's looking for something that is not coming from Rolo. They're talking past each other. You guys see where I'm coming from? Well, if... So if if you are right and that's what Sneeko's asking for, then they're not talking past each other. Rolo understands him and he's giving the correct definition and no, Sneeko just doesn't like no, it. No, I'm saying Sneeko wants Rolo to give him like a straight up ideal version. Because right. every time he asks for the definition, it's the subjective one. Rolo, he's saying, you're the godfather of the manosphere. What is the definition? Rolo said it again. And then he's like, okay, hold on. Maybe if I explain like subjectivity is what I'm assuming he's trying to get at. He's like, so you have top G, then you have a poor area. If he cannot use red pill, then red pills for nobody. It has to be applicable based on like different cultures and shit. And so now Sneeko's saying, you didn't give me the answer. Some guy in a fucking fishing boat. He's being condescending, period. Sure, I think. I, I gave him, I gave the steel man where I'm saying, uh, maybe he meant. Patrick one super chatted five dollars. What if Torsha's subjective ever, definition of a high value male? he's not that it, he's hers. also asking for no like one else why. overall Rolo definition because what he's learned even if they by are Tate faith. and all these guys is you got to be this type of man xyz and that's not fucking red pill never was and so mm -hmm. maybe he's looking for like a big tau to come out of rollo and it's not going to because it doesn't exist yes. yeah that's maybe. like another caveat well so based on the way so when we talk about context i'm not just looking at the question i'm looking at their reaction to the question as well and so if that was true, I would expect a very different reaction from them. But the reaction that I'm getting is he doesn't he doesn't even understand the question. He's not even comprehending what we're asking him. And so when they when they react that way over and over, it seems like he's just couching it in you're the you're the grand wizard, you're the godfather, you're all of these things. So you it's should have at least have thought about this. You should at <laughs> least have a definition ready. You should at least have like an understanding of this yeah. to where when I ask you to, for your personal opinion, you can easily give it to me. But and you're... he's not getting that. You're forgetting that the very first thing in the conversation, he gave the example of Brandon Carter. Mm -hmm. Remember it. Okay. So, and then also, um, so I think this is what I gather. Destiny and Sneeko are taking what Rolo is saying right now as equivalent to like, what is a woman question? Are you following when That's I say that? That's how I'm taking it as yeah. well. That's here's the difference between them. What is a woman is the, the whole thing of it being subjective. Like they didn't want to answer it, the movie, whatever it's because woman is an adult female with two x chromosomes that is an objective truth i'm trans friendly okay i'm just saying this is what the definition is but people didn't want to answer it because they didn't want to be uh told that they're a transphobe because some women don't have wombs i understand that get it whatever they're thinking that rollo is giving them like it's whatever you want it to be and what he's saying is that's mm -hmm. it's totally not that because it is subjective there it's not an objective truth like chromosomes yeah there's objective truths i guess to value but that's when you get down a very slippery slope so i don't think i don't know i i wouldn't compare it to what is a woman i i would compare it's it a hundred percent what is i a would woman. compare it to like um is this girl pretty and they say well 
pretty is subjective. Who knows if she's pretty? Yeah. You could think she's pretty. Maybe he thinks she's not pretty. And they're like, well, well we don't care. We're asking if you think she's pretty. We all know that being pretty is subjective. Oh, they're asking Literally, for... <laughs> everybody already understands pretty yeah, is subjective. Nobody's asking... confused about whether or not pretty is subjective. We're asking yeah. you specifically because we already understand it's subjective. He's not asking, like, I know what you're saying, but he's not saying, like, do you think she's pretty? He's saying, what's the definition of beauty? And that's very important to understand. And Rolo's saying, like, beauty is subjective. Yes, there's objective truth, symmetry, golden ratio. Yes, we can all agree on that. But what I find preferential is going to be what different to you. Whether I grow up in Africa, whether I grow up in Australia, it's whatever uh, I'm exposed to type of a thing, like different tribes, like different things. And that's all he's saying. But if you're saying he's asking, do you think she's pretty? I don't find that to be true. I think he's saying, what is beauty? Okay, I think so let's watch farther because I think uh, what I remember he gives happening up, he gives is that they do like start that. asking, like, no, we're asking, like, we already know it's subjective. We're asking what you think. We're asking, like, yes, it's subjective. Now you tell us within your own subjectivity what this is. Like, he and I already feel like they did that in the first two seconds. You're talking about with Brandon Carter? Brandon Carter, yeah. And he gave another mm -hmm. example, not the second guy that you said, but he gave another example with Top G. He's saying like, okay, Top G, high value man. And then the fishing guy, like sure. telling you, they're being fucking dicks. I, so Point that's not period. what they're looking for. That's not what I would be looking for either. I would be looking for him to say like- Gave them both answers is my point. Well, you, he gave them examples, whereas I'm saying neither one is an, is an answer. They're examples. And they probably don't even know who those people are. So they're had asking. had a show with them. The Brandon Carter? Yeah, that's what he said in the beginning uh, of the video. He said you guys were on a show with Brandon Carter. Like, I thought he said he was, he said I was on a show with Brandon Carter and uh and Oh, he uh, said you. Derek I'm pretty something. sure. I'm pretty sure okay. he said them. I thought, so, I thought he said he was, but maybe he said you. I thought, no, because, yeah, he said we discussed this. Let me look. Oh, uh, Rolo, we, we can what, just look at I the know who transcript. Rolo, I, like, know who Rolo goes on a show with. And I, I, Brandon Carter, a UFC guy. I, he was just on whatever podcast. Um, what did we it's in the bit. This. Oh yeah, it's like halfway. I forgot. I want to make sure it's around where we started. So around one thirty-six. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, is it two weeks ago? I think it was a Tuesday of last week. You guys had Brandon Carter on this. Oh, he was saying Fresh and Fit had Brandon Carter on. Okay. So he was saying Fresh and Fit had them on. Okay, so, so yeah, so there's still a likelihood that they just have no clue who that guy is. But either way, the example would not be what they're looking for. They're looking for him to say, um, it's somebody who has made a lot of money and is uh, independent and is able to, like, uh, be in control of their own world. Like, that is uh, that is a high-value man. That's somebody that, that people are looking for, or that's somebody that other people would value highly or who he values highly, right? Then maybe they should word the question and be like, hey, I understand that the answer Rolo, like the answer you are giving, assuming it's Rolo, you're giving is subjective, but I'm asking you in your personal opinion, if you had to define what that is, is he six feet tall? Like that, like you can say that, but the, all they're doing is laughing and asking the same question. Rolo's answering the question. Yeah, that's why I want to keep watching it because that's the way that I remember this. Rolo's that's right. what I thought was happening I... the entire time. So I want to keep watching it because I, I feel like that's what they do over and over. And I could be wrong. So I want that's why I want to keep watching this to see okay, if has they end Ro up doing Has that. Rolo laughed <laughs> at them? Is has he, he laughed like, at them? Like, has he made fun of them? Like, said anything other than, like, your douche nozzles after whatever the fuck? Like, this is after they're laughing. They keep cutting him off. Like, you guys are more on context in that sort of sense. And the fact that, like, we're denying a reality right now and we just want to hate on Rolo, like, it's unfair. Like, if I was on that panel right now and I was in Rolo's position, <laughs> I would be like, go fuck yourselves. And I would leave. Well... So you you said you watched me 
review this the first time. Somehow, I saw a little bit. Somehow, me and everybody else that I watched review it all got the same exact thing from it. Where they're like, "How does he not understand what the they're material. asking for?" You don't follow the material. That's the point, and this proves that Sneeko is not red pill. Like you see, like where my frustration comes in because we got a we got a guy that doesn't even know that high value is sub fucking subjective. Like literally has no idea what this means and he represents red pill he says red pill talking points it's like you make us look like fucking idiots if you don't even know how to define it rollo's being patient so yeah sure but i i think sneeko would say rollo's not red pill so like i think sneeko would say rollo's not red pill red pill You're subjective talking. it's whatever definition you want it to be and that would be wrong. <laughs> like, it's just, he, he, no, Sneeko would give the matrix fucking definition. That's he what would. he would say. He would totally he would. do it. For sure. To say, okay, a high value man makes hundred thousand dollars a year. He's fucked fifty chicks. He's like, that's the that's the that's thing. That's not what I want you to say. I disagree with that. I'm asking you because I, I don't want to disagree time. with it. What I'm saying He's is waiting the point for of it. the tweet is so you will ask that I'm question. Past, I'm past the tweet. I'm past that. Look, I'm asking as somebody who's really it. interested in the red pill. I listen to Just a lot of this content. It. I want to know and what your definition Cinco is. If it. you have a definition that's completely off of what I think it is, then mm -hmm. I guess I'm not red pill. Well, here's what here's okay. So here's oh, what shit. I think a guy's ought. To okay, so I feel like that one is pretty obvious. He's asking for a personal definition now. Oh, back, dude. If I, you I heard him say if you red pill. If you cannot not acknowledge the fact that when you unpaused it, Rolo said he fucks fifty chicks, he makes over a hundred k, and then Sneeko answered, "That's not the definition I want." Yes. How, we just went over the fact that that's what Sneeko was looking for. We interpreted it right. Boom. Rolo gives it to him. Sneeko says no. Well, you said that's what he's looking for. I'm saying no, 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 that no, no, I no. don't think uh, that's what he's looking for. I still think he's looking for the yeah, same I thing, can't... but I agree that his wording comes across. I, I said uh, I understood why Rolo was answering the way that he was because of the way that Sneeko's wording it. It makes sense that he's misunderstanding Sneeko over and over. Um, yes. Rewind it. Please. I am. Please. That's what I'm doing. Because we just had like a 30 minute conversation about how like Sneeko doesn't want subjective definition, correct? I, wants, I agreed. He, Hold on. I never agreed that that's actually that what he's asking want. Yes, for. you did. Rewind the whole video. Wait, you're asking me to rewind my stream now? Yes, 100%. Okay. <laughs> I don't play like this. Like if you're if you're like maybe I said no, that and I'm wrong, it. fine. But like I don't play the whole. I never said that. Let's watch it. Yes. Okay. I, again, I was saying I agree that he worded it in a way to where that's what Rolo would no, think he's saying. This that's is brain rot at this point. To. I have Be covered all my bases strategically. I've watched the video already. Okay. We have purposely asked you questions, knowing that that's coming up used to debate and you have continuously denied it and we're at the point where i have given you every possible definition covered every possible definition and you have still denied it while also agreeing in the beginning and saying you never said it and i don't play that way wait no again uh, sorry Dude, hold, on, hold on hold on wait listen when i say uh, that i'm saying he is uh, that like it makes sense that he mm -hmm. thinks this Yes. You're disagreeing that that's what I said in the past, right? You're saying that is not what I was saying, that I was saying something very different, and that actually I was just agreeing with you. That's what you're saying I said, right? you got to be pretty fucking specific because you've said a lot. With all due respect, I've covered all my bases. Everybody knows I covered my bases. I made it very clear. I was maybe annoying about it, but I did this purposely. Now you are walking back on what you're saying. And I had clarified it with you. Just yes we or had... no. Is that what you are saying? Yes, right? You are. That is what you're you saying. You just asked me verbatim. I think that he gave this definition. Which one? Because you gave me three, baby. I said, be specific. You said, no, the definition that he thinks. And I'm like, okay, is it subjective or not? Like, I'm telling you, I already covered all this and you're you're making I don't, it look- I'm sorry, you... I don't understand anything you just said. Okay, I'm then not, just- Can I just ask you the question again and you give me a yes or oh, no answer? No, because I've already done it. Fine, go I ahead, don't... ask me again, ask okay. me again. So I, I earlier, he like, uh, we agreed that Sneeko said, like, you know, um, as just the said that person- we didn't the grand... agree. Said we didn't agree. 
two Will you minutes please ago. listen to me? I, write, write down what you're saying because it's annoying me now. Okay. I, I will write it down. Okay. I will yes. pull it up on screen so everybody can see what I'm writing. <laughs> you and don't it have will stay to. the same. Because it, it will not, stay the not, same. No, Tom, I'm trying. I'm like, I, I'm, on my life, it will stay the same. I, you might I can feel put this that. on my no on my life. It has stayed the same. It will stay the same. Rewind it the has whole video. Rewind day. the whole video. We'll okay. we'll mark okay. it. Okay, we'll... but before I rewind oh. it, I am trying to ask you what it is that you are even claiming, and you will not answer me. I am trying so I hard to get you to answer me. Because I already finished supporting my claims. I'm not stupid. I'm not falling into that trap. Not stupid. I don't know what it is then. I have no idea why we're rewinding the video or well, what then, you're looking for. I'm asking you because, a yes or no question. You can't answer it. I'm just asking you a yes or no question. Please uh, just listen to me, ask the question and answer it. I'm not being a trickster. I'm not doing anything bad faith. I just want you to answer the question. I don't know why we're rewinding the video. I'm asking. Rewinding when I rewind it the video, we already finished it. We've already okay. done it. We've run through it a lot. I respectfully, respectfully. Okay. So I'm yes or no, rude. when I rewind the video, because I'm, I'm asking what we're looking for here. So when I rewind the video, you're saying that I agreed that he was, uh, that Sneeko was actually asking about the red pill and that he was not asking for his personal definition, right? That's, that you're is your- saying we, You're saying that we agreed that that was, let me repeat it. You can either agree or deny, okay. okay. The beginning. Wait, like first point of whenever we got into a brawl, we were arguing about whether or not he said your yet, yeah, right? We were like, it's what is a high value man? What is yes. the high value man? Yeah. And so we both watched the video already. We knew that it was coming. We just didn't know yet if it was. Right. I had told you that they didn't say it yet. And mm -hmm. you were telling me that what I was saying was incorrect. And I was proving to you, if you rewind the video, yeah, this was really early. D don't worry, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. So then when you rewind it, you're like, okay, yeah, I concede. Like, I understand what you're saying. You're right, whatever, we moved on. It was first half. Second point, when they did say your, which it really, like the, the whole grand scheme of this is so stupid, okay? When he said your, I said, okay, so now we're talking about, is he asking for Rolo's definition? And we both agreed because of the, what came before it, the context, because they said, you're the godfather, the grandmaster of the manosphere. We had already agreed that because of that, that's implying that they want the general definition for the second okay. time. Okay, right? so the answer is yes. Okay, not what they're asking for. Oh, but no, see, this is where, yeah, but like Rolo gave a, a good- He's just couching it in your- do you think she's pretty? I don't find that to be true. I think he's saying think I, I gave him of high value man. This is the number one talked about topic on all of these shows. So I want to get a clear definition from you. What is it? You tell again, it depends on the person. It depends on the culture. It depends on the So here's the thing. Let me, let me tell you. Is the definition understand? Yes. Sneeko's, go the Sneeko's going between what is your definition? Because he believes that Rolo is the one that comes up with the terms. So he, he's like, you're the godfather. You're the one that makes the rules. What you're is so it? Fast. I don't even think he's asking for his personal. I think he's asking, what is the definition? And I'm telling you that Rolo gave it to them three times already. Okay. I don't care that it's subjective. They want They're laughing. Because, so again, I, I, my claim is that this entire time I've been saying, I understand why Rolo is confused as to what they are asking. This is what I'm going to, to be saying here when I, when I say like, yes, okay, I understand now. That's what I'm saying is yeah. like, yes, I understand why he's because confused. No, I know we agreed on that. For, and they think no, it's blatantly no, 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 no. obvious that. What? We agreed on that. We, what I just asked you, no, we, we you just, just said the opposite of you that can't, just you a can't second ago. No, you can't trick me. I know. I remember the whole thing, dude. Go Wait, ahead. Just a second ago, the question that I asked was, and you just gave this explanation saying that we agreed that he well, was not asking about that. God. You said okay. we agreed that he was that he was asking about the red pill, and I general said, like grandmaster, yes, yes, and yeah, I we was both saying agreed. I was I agreed that that's what it sounds like he he's asking yes. to Rolo. Correct. Yes. Okay, so what yeah, is the disagreement both, then? 
I'm not understanding the, then. Okay, so so I was just walking you through. So that was like the second part, right? So then okay. the third part, and this is where I got you, if you want to put it that way, but don't take it that way, okay? Okay. So I knew that Rolo is going to give you the uh, $100,000 uh, and fucks 50 chicks. I knew he was getting there because I watched the video yesterday. But okay. made it seem like he still hadn't given like six feet. This was the equi equivalent, six feet tall, whatever. I'm saying that Sneeko wanted him to give that kind of a definition, and he didn't yet because Rolo's under the impression it's subjective. Then you agreed, okay, follow. You agreed that until he got that definition, because Brandon Carter wasn't a good example. He wanted like actual things like money you said and something uh I've, kids i think you said was another one and i said okay it's fine and then right when you unpaused it he gave literally that example the 50, uh, 50 chicks hundred thousand dollars which would be equivalent and then sneeko said no it's not what i'm asking for and i'm telling you boom it doesn't matter which way the questions asked they are being disingenuous and i proved it in every possible way is my point but okay so you're saying when i said money in like kids and stuff like that you thought i was saying yeah. that's what sneeko was asking for oh don't even do that. i made it very clear all right do you think sneeko is asking for six feet tall or this and that or is he asking for a subjective one and you made it very clear because you told me listen listen i said okay and you said i want to know if um what's rollo's definition i said what does that mean he's like what does he think is a high value guy like what whether it's he makes money or has kids and i'm like right i get that so i right now they're in the subjective part and then i knew that the part was coming with the hundred thousand dollars and the 50 chicks so i got you to give me the exact if anybody wants to know debate this is where we're this is what we're talking about i said i got you to give me the exact type of definition exact type he had to give something whether right. it's monetary and so because you agreed to that and you said yeah that's what your definition would be that's how i got you when after he said the hundred thousand dollars 50 chicks and he dismissed it where I won because now it shows that it doesn't matter if he gave his position a subjective definition he's just not complying he's not listening he's being an asshole okay I'm sorry when I okay so what I was saying was he's asking for character well, he's not asking for characteristics right and that's what I was I thought we were talking about is he asking for like a concept or characteristics is he saying okay. so, list off the things that make a high value man or is he saying something like you know um a, a rich person you know a uh like somebody who who's well off somebody who's independent that's what I was saying is like okay. is he does he want something conceptual or does he just want the characteristics of the concept that's what so, I was listing off so but when no he, you didn't wait, wait, say wait, that wait. but next in the okay, future okay, you but, should say that okay but it's irrelevant because when oh, when, it's Rolo, relevant. when Rolo answers he's saying you want these specific things he's not saying you want characteristics he's saying you want these specific characteristics because this is what you think red I pill is you, you think I this is what you. tape is right I hear you but you cannot so you cannot say that after you already conceded on the point and I got you to concede three separate times purposefully so that so I'm saying if you would have said that that would have been beautiful that would have got me but you didn't so I won okay Love. I don't care about what? winning no 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 I don't I'm saying, care but, I don't understand no, I'm, I'm saying that I didn't say the thing that you think I said and if I could just that. Tell we know you. that you should get a shirt that says it at this point love you I, I uh, yeah <laughs> I, I, I'm sure we're doing it but <laughs> somehow like i probably i have these debates every day i don't have to rewind 50 times to keep explaining the you're, same thing you're so doing I, this nine hours and i promise you you're gonna watch it back like oh fuck. i'm not well, trying to be an asshole i'm awake for more than nine hours on a regular basis I, so this I'm isn't just, like this just isn't don't something think you've special. ever had anybody push back okay hold on you're very, around doing this. Has, you're very like I'm telling you the dominant of a and i'm saying man i don't fuck around this is what it is <laughs> high value man okay i understand that you feel that way 
and oh, I'm trying I, I'm to show facts, you that you feels. are just like You're incorrect. You're the one that's here. taking back what you said. No, I'm not incorrect. I'm I haven't changed correct. anything. It's been Listen, the same baby, thing the entire I've won. time. I've won. I've won. I appreciate so many of that these. you feel that way, and I your <laughs> feelings are fun. valid. Okay. <laughs> I love it. A subjective term that is going to depend on your experience and what your culture says about what is uh more valuable and so i need another word more um worth more whatever in your society it's value it's, yeah like whatever value is like uh, yeah you can and just then admit it he said that <laughs> that's the definition the definition is not he's got to be six feet tall i don't know if this is what people are expecting high value man equals six feet tall six pack abs that's not what it means high sure. value man equals a subjective sure. term to describe somebody that is worth more in society whatever it is sure. it's um, on your culture do you, okay. do you follow i do let's just go back a second come out of you guys is not this just fucking confident ignorance I'm I'm like, no, 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 Myron, Myron. okay i'm not asking you like in terms of the debate you call yourself the godfather of the red pill you call myself the godfather of the manosphere okay other people have called me that okay great that's that? very do you understand okay so the as that or grandfather of the man which one is whatever it? it is the old guy of the manosphere what is your definition of high value man this is so yeah so then he says what is your definition of high value man so sure. this is why like he's, do you think he's, he's asking for he's his saying, yeah so before he's saying the definition now he's saying okay fine i obviously i'm not happy with your answer of the definition so now i'm asking you for your definition to be more specific yeah, yeah, you yeah. say it's subjective you say everybody has their own fine what's yours and yeah, then yeah, he no, gives I know. the same I get definition it. well that's because right before it what did he say this is why he's, context matters I, I think you yeah yes when i think what you're saying makes sense now because when he says you're the godfather of the manosphere Told me you so didn't. now it sounds like he's giving the definition for yeah. the manosphere yes that makes and sense and that's now. why i think Yes, I didn't say you didn't. I said yes, it you makes, did. <laughs> I, Torsha, listen, you are. I I promise you, everybody in chat is right along with me. They all understand what I'm Your saying. Your chat's always gonna. No, I promise you. I, I want you to listen back. I don't want you to just listen for a second. Uh, I, I am saying I understand time. why you why it's you like believe brain. this or why he believes this. That's what I was saying. I understand why he thinks this now. You, it, it makes sense now it, that he no, thinks you, you have to they are asking trouble. something different. Want me to teach you the like? Here's the thing: it's like I have a specific strategy if I go into a debate. Okay. You're telling me, that, like, like separate. You guys can listen in on it. Fuck it. I'm saying I have a very specific way of doing it, and I'm looking for a very specific answer. And the way that I word things is to get you to concede. Mm -hmm. Kind of like if I'm like, so like I said, blah 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 blah, right? It's like yes. a very, very. So you're very... convincing yourself it's happening before it even happens. Yeah, exactly. And then when it I doesn't you know happen, what it means. you're confused. No, no, I'm not denying my reality. I am getting you to step into my trap. But I'm saying gotten... that that's obviously not what happened. You, but you just did in this clip. How? Like, here's the thing: is you said five minutes ago that you never conceded, and you just said, rewind it, thirty seconds. You just said, yes, you're right. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it to you. I'm not trying to fucking, well, I am kind of trying to trip you up, but like when I'm explaining it to you, I'm not okay. explaining it to be an asshole. I want okay. you to understand it. Okay. What, what I'm saying you're right about right there hmm? is very different from what I just now said. Oh, it's the, not. These... And you want, no, don't do that. I don't think you realize that what you're doing is you're going back on your words. And I, I <laughs> fucking debate hard, baby. This is a blood sport for me. You, you are confused hard for a Okay, sport. whatever makes you sleep well at night, brain rot. <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> With it, love. I it is the it. same thing. It, I, oh. I is the same thing I am saying. It makes sense why he thinks that. This is the same thing I've said the whole time. But, it makes oh sense why he thinks you that. When you said, say I'm conceding, oh. it's saying I am saying it makes sense why he thinks that. That is the same thing the entire time. It hasn't changed. It did. I did concede to say yes. You are correct. It makes sense why he thinks that. But no, that is the concession. What you think the concession oh, is is oh very different from what it actually was. Tom, like please, I just said, or at this point. When we were talking, you said that you never wanted, you wanted characteristics and you wanted this. And I said, that would have been fucking great if you didn't concede on my point, correct? I said, is it 
a six foot tall man? Is it something tangible in this clip we just watched and mm -hmm. you conceded? And so now when you say that you never conceded, you're fucking lying because at the end of the conversation, you said that I want, I meant characteristics. That would have been fucking great if you said it when well, I said sure. it, we but you didn't. There yet. No, we haven't gotten to that part no, of the video I'm yet. You we haven't about... gotten to the part of the video yet. We are talking about right now something very I different than the... that. I will rewind it 10 seconds and you will hear. Rewind when... the last five minutes because I don't play this game. No, can't, I'm not rewinding cannot... five minutes. We're talking about the last 10 seconds right now. Stop changing the subject. You are you're confused, so... okay? Okay. Okay. So... Now you're just clout Torsha. sharking no, me. You are I don't confused. Play Oh, you're Torsha. dumb. I am not you're clout sharking. Will, Hold on. Can, My stream can... is turned off right now, okay? My stream is turned off. I do not care about...